Hello everyone, in fact all three of you. Well, that's a good, that's a, yeah, not a bad start. Welcome to another um, stream of Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. I'm doing a bit of resource hunting on Norvis at the moment, so I've gone out to one of my um, areas that I'm, st this is the area I've been gradually clearing out with the um, with the artillery and pushing my, pushing my um, base further outwards. And so I thought while I'm down here, I'll get the artillery train to come out and um, tidy things up a bit, take out some of the uh, the worms that I hadn't got rid of yet. And um, the main reason I've come down here is because I've noticed I'm generally short of, well, fossil fuels in general. So if we look at this, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, terminal thing here, you can see that I'm running out of um, crude oil and plastic and pro problems in those sort of areas. Um, and that's causing me, those are sort of all, all linked together because over here we've got a distinct shortage of everything coming flowing through here. Because I'm running low on oil and, and coal, I've done a bit to fix this at the moment, so it's running a bit better than it was before. And by a bit to fix this, I mean I put in a coal mine somewhere over here. Oh, it's here, this this one here. So this is running now, this is fairly new. But since I'm about to clear off and go and do all kinds of things in space, I think it's probably best if I um, get some more resources first before I go as well. So there's a nice big oil patch here, which I can um, hopefully claim. And now, it's, now it seems to be daylight, so I can actually see these uh, oil patches, which helps a bit. So I'll put down some um, pump jacks. I think that's all of them. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I'm going to have to work out how on earth I'm going to get power to here. So there's there's not very much power around this area, as you can see. These two outposts have both got little bits of solar. So I think what I'll probably do is slap down a big solar field here. Now that's not going to be not going to be so easy because I don't have a huge amount of available. Um, I don't have any of the good solar panels with me, so I'm just going to have to put down the basic ones and hope that's enough. But then it's it's um, it's um, just a mining outpost, so it doesn't really matter if it runs out of power from time to time. It can sort of live off no power, and it'll be it'll be absolutely fine. Okay, let's tell this to go away again because uh, I don't I don't need any more artillery around here right at this moment, um, and that means now my ammunition restocking train, which is this little one here, can trundle through. And go wherever it is, wherever it is as it's needed. So this is heading out to uh, tr drop off ammunition and and building supplies and so on at one of my outposts. Not that one. Maybe this one. Who knows? So now I need to turn this into an actual um, useful mining outpost. So let's get rid of let's get rid of all of this nature first because I don't want any of that that nonsense. Um, and then we'll think about tanks. So let's see, I've got my, my, my trains are two and then six. So if I start from here. Oops. And then just build along this way like this. Uh, nope, not that one. No. <laughs> Helps if you can click in the right place. So one. Uh, one. Two, what, what, two, two, three, four, four, six. Yeah, that's long enough. Okay, numbers are difficult. And then I need some pumps. Do I have pumps? I have pumps. So, do do do. And then we need to hook all of this stuff up. Uh, that's going to take a moment. I think I've got plenty of pipes in my inventory, uh, in my in in my train. So this shouldn't be too difficult. I shouldn't, I shouldn't run out of stuff part way through. I find often the easiest way to do this is to run a backbone across like that and then use underground pipes just to link everything up. But that's not going to quite work. And then sometimes, every so often, it's handy to run a sort of an upper backbone as well, like, like that perhaps, except with less fail. <laughs> Down with her. Uh, yeah. This is. I, I promise I'll get onto more exciting things fairly soon. I just need to get this. These all these um. All the, uh, this this linked up. In fact, I probably should have done this before I started the stream. Really. Uh, but never mind. I hope you'll um indulge me for a few for a, a few minutes while I get this finished off. 
Oh yeah, I was going to look into um, non-interrupting non saving, wasn't I? Because that's quite annoying when it does that. stuff in the way. There we go. No, we don't. There's still a rock in the way. That one, yeah, that will get through. I think that's all of them linked up. Yes, looks good. way and run some pylons along here. Now I need to put in some sort of solar field in order to uh, actually power everything. Oops. I don't know how many solar panels you actually, oh actually there's a better way to do this. If you put in, um, I've worked out, oh, I'm going to need more accumulators, but I've discovered that if you have um, a gap. If you have a row of accumulators and then a row of solar panels, there's still room for the um, because the accumulators are smaller than the solar panels. There's still room for the um, pylons you put up the middle to to actually get everything, which is quite nice. Like this. And I can put another layer, row of solar panels down here on the other side. And I think this tends to be a reasonably good ratio. I have to admit, I'm not certain of that, but it it's probably reasonably good. Uh, typically that has not covered all of them. There we go. And I missed one up there. In fact, I missed that one completely. It doesn't have um, pipes either. They all seem to be nodding away quite happily now, so I'm going to assume that's, that started working. Okay, I won't put down the other um, coal mine yet because I don't want everyone to fall asleep and leave the stream. So I think now it's time to sort of start thinking about um, more exciting space-based things rather than just faffing around on Norvis because everyone's everyone's seen sort of building mines and things a million times before. So let's have a let's have a look at what we need to do today. So I've started. I've added in these um, extra. Uh, to-do lists in, for, uh, based on each, each planet so I know when if I'm planning to head off to another planet I know what I need to take with me I, need, I have reminders of the things I need to do while I'm up there that sort of thing uh, so for example when next time I go to Henki Sesui where I've just come back from um, I need to take a centrifuge with me because at the moment there's nothing to reprocess the uh, spent fuel cells I go to Ganymede um, I need to take out some more power poles because the meteor defense out there is um, isn't quite powered up as it should be <laughs> which is a little bit rubbish Kothar is a bit of a silly one. There's been, um, yeah, I'm just going to, I shall show my shame. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. So I, I messed up spectacularly over here. Um, I set up a non-functional Kovarex system here, which um, has typically blocked up. So as you can see here, what's presumably happened is one of the 235s, the light green ones, has come up here, got to here and not had anywhere to go. The whole thing's gummed up. We've run out of um, 238, the dark green ones. That stopped working. So this has stopped working. So we've run out of power and everything is broken. Um, yeah. So that's generally terrible. And there's not a lot I can and we can't even get this through because again I've just I've just not designed this properly. It should have the it should have the um, 235 on one side of the belt and the 238 on the other side of the belt then it would then it would probably work okay. But no, I tried <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just all a bit wrong and a bit rubbish. So, that needs fixing. So, I'm at some point I'm going to have to go out to Kothar cuz I'm not going to get any um, iridium until I do. And more um, and even more embarrassingly beyond that, uh, shortly after this happened, we had an asteroid strike. There was no power over here because there was no power, and the the meteors took out the meteor defences, which is um, a rather unpleasing irony. I also need to scale up everything that's going on here to get uh, rocket shipments yeah, coming out of it. So instead of instead of instead of launching the supplies out um, one uh, one what do we call it delivery cannon capsule at a time from here, I need to scale all of this up to some sort of 
massive scale like I've done on various other planets. And so that I can actually fill up a rocket reasonably quickly and launch stuff out with that. That's going to mean bringing cryonite in. That shouldn't be too difficult now because I've got the um, I've got the, the system on set up on frost now that will that will load up a rocket and then uh, full of cryonite and then send it off to wherever it's needed. So that's not too bad. That's not going to be too difficult. But there's going to be a lot of building in that. Maybe a bit later on in the stream, I'll do, I'll start doing some of the design work. Because I think that at least is reasonably easy. Uh, sorry, not reasonably easy. Reasonably interesting. Um, and then on Norvis, we've got a few things to do on Norvis as well. I need to finish finish expand finish my expansion out. Um, what's my uh, what were I doing with expansion? Yeah, so on, down down here on Norvis, I was expanding out over this way. Um, let's give that a sensible name. Oh, I didn't put I didn't put radar down. Uh, Can you call it an oil mine? Is that the right term? Um, I apparently have been, so I'm going to call this oil mine seven. <laughs> uh, so yes, I started. I started expanding out this way in um, ages and ages ago, actually. Um, and so at some point, I need to finish this off by put bringing a wall round across across here somewhere, across here somewhere, across here, and then linking it up over here. And I've noticed there was a nice patch of something in here. I've forgotten where it was now, actually. Oh yeah, there's a nice patch of copper there and coal there, so I might try and bring that round over here, um, even if it's going to mean a bit of a dog leg, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, it's not too bad. And I just need to make sure I, I this so this area is currently unguarded, as you can see by all the red dots. So I do need to make sure I keep an eye on this and make sure there's no expansion going on and the um, the biters don't come up here. So at some point I do need to do that, but again, combat not particularly exciting. Not why you come to a space exploration stream, is it really? You come to a space exploration stream for the the space related stuff. Um, where was I? There was a couple more things for Norvis. Oh yeah, I need more oil, more coal, and more stone because I've just been ripping through that. Now hopefully the stone won't be so much of a problem from now on because, fingers crossed, I'm not going to actually make any more um, any more glass on this planet. So <laughs> that this 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 glass production system that I built up in the last stream and was go and was going on about for ages, actually I'm hoping not to need it um, because I've now got on Henkeseswi, I've got. Where is it? Yeah, so we've got we've got all the sand being pumped out by this um, iridite, no holmium, holmium production um, that comes up here and then gets dumped into the um, into the rockets. We're now full of holmium, which is quite nice. Not full of um, blue circuits. Which, so there's there's a bit of a problem here. When this when this stops, we stop getting any stone flowing through, which means we stop getting any stone tablets coming out. Uh, stone bricks coming out of here so there's no stone tablets no no more circuits so that's why that has stopped uh, which kind of sucks but I'm hoping that I'll get, I'll get through Holmium at a reasonable rate and won't need to, to solve that I mean if I do need to solve it it's not difficult I just set up a mine somewhere uh, oh god I've got a stone mine somewhere um, here and that so that I could be I could start training it into here but I ran out of stations and then thought uh, maybe I don't need it maybe we'll we'll see we'll see um, so at some point eventually we'll we might get that sorted, or we might just find that the Holmium production is sufficiently high that we can get, we can produce enough, enough of these circuits. So I've got 29,000 in there. I think that stacks up to 50,000, um, because I think it's, oh, is it? No, it's 200 per stack for circuits, isn't it? So it's going to be 100,000, so that's only <laughs> less than a third full. So there's a lot more to go into there before that's ready to launch. But we do have glass coming from here. We have glass coming for the same sort of reasons from Frost. Yes, this one. This is another glass rocket. Uh, not very much in there, but never mind. And I think the same again on Ganymede. There's a lot more coming from potentially a lot more coming from Ganymede because this is where all the Vulcanite comes from, and we're getting through Vulcanite at a hell of a rate. Um, why are you not? Why are you not? No cargo rocket sections. Okay. Um, and turns out Ganymede has run out, basically run out of cargo rocket sections. That's slightly annoying. Um, it's not screwed up again. In a rocket, no, it doesn't seem to fit. Okay, but down here, as you can see, we've got we've got a steady supply of glass coming through, so we can launch we can launch glass rockets from here, and those are going to either um, down onto Norvis here. We're dumping the glass into a train system over here, and we've got 72,000 there, so there's a decent amount waiting around, or again into orbit in the same way I've been doing everywhere else. Okay, so I think that's most of what I've been doing. Um, Hi Peter, uh, yes, back on Norvis for now. Uh, I won't be sticking around here for too long either because I want to get back into space. Um, and yes, as you say, it's, uh, you, you make one stupid mistake and then everything breaks and you just go, oh my god, why is this not working? Um, and then have to go back there and fix it with a hammer. 
But yeah, it's um, yeah. So, so the next thing to do, I think, because as I said, I want I want to get up into space and start doing some of the stuff up there. And resources aren't so much of a problem in space because I've got one of my rockets up here. Um, saving again already. I, maybe I need maybe I should make that save a bit less often. Uh, so we've got this rocket here taking up stuff as it's requested by the um, by the powers on high. So I should never run out of all of the things I need. And I've also got supplies from all of these rockets going up for sort of for, fu for the future proofed part of the base. So let's um, head up there. I think I might as well just take this rocket because it's got some stuff that's needed. Oops. No, uh, put that back. Now, how much of this stuff do I not want to take? That's the first question. So every so often, I, th I think, yes, I'll um, I'll put down some chests on here on Norvis, like this. And I'll put the stuff I don't want to take into space with me. Uh, yep, turn that off, good. Like, there's no point in taking these belts, because they don't work in space. Inserters are useful. No point in taking these pipes, because they don't work in space. Those are useful, those are useful. Miners, and no point in having them. I don't need wood. I do need coal, and need stone in small amounts. Might as well take that up with me. I don't need empty deconstruction planners. Why have I even got those in my inventory? I do need lots of these. <laughs> Rocket fuel. I don't think I need pump jacks. I'm going to take some. Yeah, I'm going to take these 86 construction bots with me. I'm also going to grab some more logistics bots uh, and some more construction bots actually, because bots keep dying in space. So I'm going to take up more of them, more of them to kill them. Why are there so many construction bots? There, I haven't been building anything around here. Oh, there's some logistics bots. I don't understand. I must have I must have built or ripped put down or ripped up something massive to have this many um, construction bots in this area. Um, where have all the log logistics bots gone? There should be, uh, here we go, here's some. I was going to say there should be absolutely loads of them around here because all of all of these things, all these rockets, well, this rocket in particular is fed largely by logistics bots. Okay, Norvis Orbit, Norvis Orbit Main, that's fine. Rocket's almost half, is almost two-thirds full, that'll do, I don't really care. I've got to the point now that rockets are reasonably cheap, especially when they're only going as far as... Why was that not being loaded into it? That's strange. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, I'll have to, I should probably take a look at that. Okay, here we are again, back in orbit. We'll use this to transfer stuff around. So, as anyone who's been watching knows, we've got this big system over here where we're unloading all of the stuff that comes up from um, from Norvis or from, from elsewhere in the solar system or in the in, in the galaxy. Actually, I think I've got uh, Ganymede is, is outside the current solar system, which is why it's so expensive uh, to bring rockets from there. So we've got here. This is this is dropping everything off. Um, at the bottom here, we've got the various trains that are picking up all of the um, all the various different doohickeys, um, all the different, so we've got all the solids that are going in here, all the liquids being loaded up onto these trains, and then being taken out to wherever they're needed. And as you can see, by the way, they're all pinging destination full. They don't need to take any stuff out at the moment. There's, the, the stations are all full. Um, yeah, the um, the, the hordes and hordes of constru construction bots must have just been me ripping up stuff in that area, and so the oh, construction bots dumping in stuff in the silo. Yeah, maybe. That's a good point, because it's not where you pull something up, it's where you either do a massive build, or where the stuff gets dumped after doing a massive build. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's a weird one. Okay, so, I've been thinking that I want to do the um, the next energy science, um, because that looks vaguely interesting. Uh, so, that's, so, I've got energy science 1, I want to do energy science 2. And that takes um, energy broad energy catalogues, which take these various different... Um, data types. And I think one of the things we needed for this, let's see if we can actually find, oh Backspace works in FNEI, that's awesome. I, had, I did that automatically without thinking and it worked and that is the best type of um, <laughs> best type of shortcut there is. I'm sure there was something in here that required mirrors in massive quantities. Of polar yeah, polarization data. So, so there's a couple of things I need to do before I can really get started on the um, on the science. One is getting a, a decent supply of these mirrors, and at the moment, do I have? Can I do the clever way? Yes, I can. I've got, got iridium. Um, so, so what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to set up another 
little factory somewhere in in my um, in my in my space station that's going to be pulling in all of these things straight out of the trains and then producing the mirrors to put onto another train to go off somewhere else. I might try and ship them back here and put them into this train. I haven't decided yet because that train's getting a little full. Uh, do, 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 that's okay. The other thing I've realised I need to do is, is set up a recycling plant um, because this machine here that's making the um, memory cards has stopped running and that stopped running because this tank of um, contaminated cosmic water has filled up completely. So I need to get in a dumping system that will come around, pick that up, pick up the scrap from here as well and take it off to some sort of recycling facility somewhere. Um, what do you think guys? Shall I do mirrors or, uh, or recycling first? <laughs> Which sounds more um, more exotic and thrilling and exciting and stuff. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna run down there and put in a radar as well while I while I wait for the uh, tw for the Twitch lag, no, the YouTube lag to uh, to get through and you, you guys to be able to actually give me an answer. So stick a radar down there, and then we can see it again. Now I think there was somewhere out here there was a um, a what do you call it? Um, coronal mass ejection that did, that hit my, my space base but fortunately the only damage it did was this bit of track down here picked up a bit of a bit of a hit okay so um, when you're setting up a train when you when you've got a, got a train and I think this works on your own personal inventory as well but not on um, but not on chests if you select a thing like this you see how all these are highlighted in blue well if I actually I'm just gonna pull the train out of the station for a moment to demonstrate this because otherwise it's gonna fill up with stuff I don't want it to fill up with um, when I click on this all these things that are highlighted in blue are locked to that particular thing so this square can only have iron in it this one can only have coal in it this one can only have fish in it and because there's nothing trying to load fish in at the station it stays empty so you don't get you don't get all the random nonsense in there that, that you might otherwise get so for example if I change this one if I middle click on it then it disappears if I middle click again then I can choose something else to go into there and if I now send the train back to the station You'll see it'll start picking up. Um, it, it starts loading up with copper again because there's now there's now space to put some extra copper in there, and then it loads the chest back up again so it's ready. Now the the one thing that's a bit of a gotcha with this sort of system is you have to have a different chest for each different resource you want to load into the train like this, because if you don't, if you have multiple ones in there and then you try and use some sort of cunning system of stack inserters to to only put in the things you actually need unless you limit your inserters to a stack size of one then they'll try and put in a st there'll be room for say nine pieces of copper it'll pick up ten try and put all ten in then it'll be left holding one piece of copper and because inserters aren't very smart it will then just sit there going well I don't know, rather than loading in the other stuff that it's supposed to be putting into the other slots so you effectively can only put 12 different things into a wagon using this system which is a bit of a shame but yeah, it it works well enough to get 12 things in there. Recycling. Okay, chat has spoken. All right, recycling it is then. So I think I'm going to put the recycling plant down down at the bottom of this one because it's going to be producing quite a lot of stuff that I want to put back into the into the sort of the general flow of resources. So I think I want to have it reasonably close. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get it back in there from here, but uh, that can be a question for another time. I think I might need to have <clears throat> another drop-off station, maybe up here, where I can just drop absolutely anything that goes into this system, and then a cunning system of um, uh, splitters to sort it all out as it comes into it comes all uh, comes down here. Uh, so, okay, recycling. Let's head over there and start start thinking about it now. I don't have any of the stuff that I I need for doing space things so let's let's go and get some um, some scaffold first because I'm gonna need a lot of that to build this up and then I'm gonna need a lot of the recycling plants and I don't know if I've got it I don't think I've got any of those and then I'll need to consult my um, uh, how I did it last time should we say in order to make sure I can do it again reasonably well here we go let's take a two thousand of them uh, do we have any recycling plants plants that it can bring me. Let's find out. Recycling facilities? I'm definitely going to need some of them. Um, so what I need, what I want to build for this is essentially this. And what are these? These are decontamination facilities. So let's let's request some of those as well. I don't have any of the first ones. Uh, decontamination. No, I don't have any of those either. Okay, great. I'm just going to I'm gonna have to make them. Uh, no problem, no problem, Zhao. Uh, happy to happy to help. 
So I need to I need to make this again. This is the bit that's that's uh, decontaminating the contaminated cosmic water and contaminated um, bio sludge, I think. Uh, is is that is that green stuff bio sludge? I think it might be. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I can never find these things. Uh, so I need to, I'm going to need to make this. Then I'm also going to need to make th this. Uh, this this is what takes in the the duff memory cards and the scrap and turns it back into useful uh, material. So so it um, these recycling plants will rip up. will just will take apart the um, uh, the, the the scrap, turn it into iron or copper or stone and a little bit of heavy oil, um, and then. Actually not. And then we then we smelt it here and turn it back into into useful things like um, the iron and copper um, and stone. Stone all goes into this chest and gets taken off. So we're going to need to make something like this, but I don't have any um, I don't have any recycling plants and I don't have any uh, decontamination facilities. So first thing that I'm going to do is nip over here. One of the things I quite like to do at some point is build up some sort of space mall system that's going to build up all of the machines I need. But for now, what I've got is this this one here. That I can tell to make me things like um, decontamination. That's no, biochem. Decontamination facilities, and then this will run until I tell it. Until it's, I've got some several of them. Um, let's, say, let's say ten actually. Um, has it got everything it needs? Yes, it does seem to. Uh, the problem with this is you end up with a lot of junk in your inventory from every time you empty it and then reload it again. And you also, there's also quite a lot of... I've run out of space pipes. But they're supposed to be brought up automatically in this rocket of everything to here. Why have I not got any space pipes? There's... N there's no request for them. It thinks, it's 100 it thinks I've got 110 of them. Uh, more than I need to have. So does that mean they're... Do I, have, I, have I not got any logistics bot up here anymore? No, I've got three of them. I mean, that's not as many as I want, but it is still some. So why is that not working? There's... Oh... Oh, I see. They're all in that um, buffer chest. So I need to tell this to also request from buffer chests. There we go. And that will fix that. Also, also, I need to work out where on earth. Actually, no. I, I say I say I need to work out. I just need to request all of those bots I um I brought up and uh, put them into the logistics network because then there's no point in having them sitting in a chest, is there? No. Uh, so those I want all of them and all of them. Then I'll put them in here. All of you. Some of you. There we go. And I can get rid of those. Right. Otherwise, I'll go back down onto Norvis and get a million of them delivered to me when I don't want them. Right. How are we doing over here? <clears throat> Waiting for the space pipes. I need to build up more of this sort of thing, really. Um, and, and have it building all of the different machines I can need. The problem is, though, this is... With this expansion here, it's turning into a much, much wider area. I don't really want to build out roboports over the entire thing because that's just going to take forever. Um, I'm aware there's a there is a t thing I can research. Um, what's it called? Uh, there is a thing. It's not that one. <laughs> Somewhere in here, there is a type of pylon you can research that extends your roboport network. Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. Construction pylon. Um, well, that is only construction. But that'll probably do. So 64 by 64 sounds reasonably big. I mean, that might be a useful thing to have. And that's only tier two researchers of various different types. So, yeah, maybe, maybe eventually I'll get one of them and, we, and, it'll, and it'll make it make, make it a bit easier to spread this out around here. I can't remember what that station was for. Um, so, yes, what was I saying? Yeah, we, we, need, we need to get some of these um, decontamination uh, things right up, and, up and made. No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, hate it when you do something like that. You just end up with so much stuff in your inventory that you didn't want. Um, um, some vulcanite, concrete, lamps. Why are there lamps? 
can't remember what that was needed for. Oh, they were, that was for something biological. You were using them to grow, to grow facilities or something like that. I think that's all of the stuff in there that I don't want. Aha, have we got the ten of those I requested? Yes, we have. And there's some recycling facilities in here as well. Why, did, why wasn't I brought those when I asked for them? So some recycling facilities and some decontamination facilities. And I think we're going to need some more recycling facilities as well. So let's get... Yeah, because the recycling facilities, as if you remember, that was the one I had a massive, massive area of. Um, so I think I want to put more, get more of that um, up and running. But at least now I've, I've got enough. I can head over there and I can start... I can start planning at least, which is a good start. Okay, so down here somewhere. I haven't got any uh, space rail. Let's take some space rail as well, because I want to put I want to put a little siding off that. I didn't with the um, uh, memory card cr uh, building, and I think that was a bit silly. I probably should have done. Here's my space rail. Got lots of that. Space rail is actually surprisingly cheap. It costs. Um, it's well, each piece of space rail does take one piece of normal rail, but then you can also make um, like a bajillion. Uh, you make you make a hundred of them. The, the the extra cost is I think some iron actually. So it's, it costs costs a certain amount of iron and a load of the um, purple cube things from the space, whichever space science that is. But it's not too bad. As, um, as these sort of things go. Right, so we're going to have a, str a train bringing in junk. and that's So how many types of junk do we need to bring in? So there's going to be um, scrap coming in as well as scrap. We're going to have contaminated scrap being brought in as well. Now I could just dump those into the same chest and then split it afterwards. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, and then there's going to be this liquid uh, which is the um, contaminated cosmic water, and then there's going to be contaminated bio sludge as well. So we're going to need to have two liquid unloads, and let's have two solid unloads as well, um, and try and get yeah, try and sort of match those up nicely. So put in a station here. I oh, know you can't build that on empty space. I need to put down some scaffold for it. To be honest, I need to put down some scaffold for me to stand on as well. There we go. So put the station in there. I do need to put signals down. Signals can float just in the depths of space, which is quite nice. <laughs> oh, I can't reach down here. Uh, never mind. Do that. Do that in a bit. Um, don't let me forget. Okay, so from here we have. Uh, one loc I'm doing one locomotives up in space, aren't I? Uh, let me just check that against the wh against where it's actually going to be coming from. Yeah, so one locomotive, then a liquid, then solids, then perhaps solid, then liquid. I don't know. Oh, for <laughs> just stand on the rock. There we go. Uh, so probably from about here. And we need a pump to unload the first liquid. Then we're going to want some inserters to unload the scrap into chests. I'm going to need a lot more. I'm going to need a much bigger area of um, scaffold down here, actually, aren't I? So let's just let's just smack down a sort of a big big area of it, just straight, straight off the bat. I can pick it up later if I change my mind. It's annoying trying to pick up scaffolding from around other stuff, but it can be done. So let's just give myself a big playground. These all then unload as well. Um, and then it was another, oh, here's another, this is, this is going to have the contaminated scrap, so it's the same again. And then we're going to want to unload the cosmic, bi un unload the co contaminated bio sludge there. Right. Um, I didn't bring any space belts over with me. There's going to, I yeah there's going to be quite a lot of this flying backwards and forwards I suspect because I just say I don't have the logistics stuff set up and I don't in a way I don't I kind of don't have the um, as much of the sort of the sp space request infrastructure requesty systemy stuff set up as might be useful. Uh, 
Why am I not? Oh yeah, I need to turn that on. That's why I wasn't being brought any recycling um, facilities. There we go. Um, I'm glad. I, I'm glad that problem sort of solved. Stuff. There we go. Um, and oh, I'm gonna need a load of space pipes as well. That was on there. I don't think I'm gonna need any of the really long pipes for this bit. This is this is going to be a relatively sensible, relatively simple, relatively compact system, I think. Okay, so is that everything? I've, yeah, I'm being brought now. Now the thing is, I don't know how much. Of each of these, I'm going to need. So I'm going to I'm going to set it up in such a way that it's quite expandable. Uh, so we're going to have the dirty water here, the dirty bio sludge here. Um, let's put down a bit more of this. Okay, so this this is going to be using the decontamination facilities. And I want to turn cosmic water. I want to, yeah, I want to do the decontamination of cosmic water. That's, that's the first thing to do. Um, that produced so that takes in contaminated cosmic water over here, potential or over here, wherever I want to do it. I didn't bring any underground space pipes. Damn it! And we'll output contaminated sludge here and clean water here. Okay, so we can take the. Um, so let's switch this to these ones. That can go in there. This can come out here. I need to use some underground pipes for this. Because I want to bring this out to here and then run it along next. Actually, no, I want to... Yeah, I need, I'm going to need to run this along in case I need to put more machines of the same type over here. So I can link them all together. Then we're going to bring out the contaminated bio sludge here. Another machine here that turns contaminated bio sludge into nice bio sludge. Uh, that's just going to be a pipe going straight through like that. That's going to pump out good bio sludge here. It's also going to produce um, contaminated scrap, as is this one. Yeah, that is. Yeah, contaminated scrap. It doesn't produce very much of it, but it produces enough that I need to deal with it. Uh, likewise, this one. It only produces one for every hundred things it does, but it's still it's enough that I need to worry about it. So I need to bring this out here, and in fact, that's the same. It's the same output. They can go onto the same belt here. Uh, that now is the same as this one. So I can link them up. Contaminated bio sludge is the same thing as is coming in from here. So I can link them up once I go back and get some damn underground pipes. Um, and then I think it's another one of these that turns contaminated scrap into nice scrap. Yes, but it does require cosmic water for it. And it produces contaminated bio sludge and occasionally uranium. Nice. That's just to make it difficult, isn't it? I can, t I can, I can tell. I understand how Factorio <laughs> works. Okay, so I need to link this cosmic water feed from here. That needs to come down and be linked to here. Uh, this is nice bio sludge. Let's let's move this down another square or two like that. Because I'm not sure. I'm not particularly short of space. The uh, the resource I'm using to make spaces is. is pretty cheap. So you take in the contaminated scrap, bring it in like that. And it outputs clean scrap and, and uranium as just previously discussed. Okay. Now it occurs to me I could take that and put that if I put that there, then I can run that pipe out straight next to it, which is feels feels neater somehow. And then we need to split out the scrap and the uranium. Uranium ore, uh, which is that one. That can go left. And I think the, the uranium ore, there's so little of it produced 
for now at least, I am just going to do the shove it in a box and forget about it method. This is going to be a problem later, but I think it's going to be a problem much, much later. And I can come, probably come, come by and harvest it and just take it all down to Norvis and, and shove it in the systems down there. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Um, have I... I'm going to go and get those underground pipes so I can see if I've actually linked everything up. I'm also going to get some... Um, Oh, are you sort of, I take it you're some sort of East, Eastern European type direction, are you, uh, Peter? Um, is it, can I call you Peter? It seems easier than the, the, the full name, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Um, oh, what else do I need? Oh, yeah, the um, solar panels. Those ones. And I don't need the, um, <laughs> yes, there's definitely going to be some spaghetti in this. Um, although, I, if, I, if I power it, then maybe at least it'll cook nicely. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I take it you're some way off to the, um, the east of me if you're going to bed now. <laughs> and yeah, if it's midnight approaching, must be. Uh, what's that? That's um, three hours away, I guess. Yes. Am I being? Yes, I am being brought um, solar panels. So these are the um, the new solar panels I've been making. Um, a few episodes ago, actually, quite a while back. So I've moved on from these ones that produce um, a nominal 60 kilowatts to these ones that produce a nominal 800 kilowatts, which is more and therefore a lot better. Um, and also because I'm in space, I don't need to worry about the uh, sun going down. So there's just, yeah, all the sunlight I can eat. Okie dokes, back over here then. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I went over there to get some underground space pipes and didn't get any underground space pipes. Got other things, but n not none of the thing I actually went over here to get. Keith? More? There we go. Yeah, that'll probably do. Ooh, there's some more. Lots more. <laughs> Is that done? Yeah, I think it's done. Right, what was I saying? So, over here, yes. Stop getting caught on the belts. Over here, I'm going to use some underground pipes here. It's a bit unnecessary. Um, and slightly wasteful because space pipes are expensive. Space underground pipes are expensive, but never mind. I don't care. I can afford it. Um, I then need right. So I need the this one linked across here to here. I know I, c I could use the inputs on the side here. Um, oh right, um, bottom end of Africa. That's <laughs> that is a yeah a long way away. And um, yeah, I make sense makes sense if it's, if it's the sort of time zone differences I guess yeah I tend to think of Africa as being reasonably close to uh, sort of Western Europe at Europe but I guess it's not of Europe so yeah down that way I don't know my sort of off the top of my head image of the uh, of what the world looks like is about as bad as you'd expect from, from someone who's English <laughs> I'm afraid oh dear right uh, link that across there all right this is that Uh, what was I doing here? Oh yes, and there. I think. Oh, so, okay. So that's all of the intermediate products linked together. Now I need to have two outputs: one for the um, one for the bio sludge and one for the clean cosmic water. How's this going to? Right. Okay. So I can, <laughs> annoyingly, the train here. Uh, I can't put them both onto the same train and have it work with this. Um, with this network here because that that would be uh, far too good forward planning now one thing i could do and one of the reasons i built this over here is so i could consider this sort of thing is that i could run the pipes from here i could run them all the way across here and then hook into the bottom end of this to um to get the fluids back into the into circulation in the same sort of area and so they just flow back up to this train and then be taken off to where they were needed uh, that would be quite a nice way to do it and i think i probably will go for that um Bio sludge isn't one of those liquids at the moment. Um, I will probably feed it, do the same anyway, and put it into one of these other tanks, and just see how that goes. Because, yeah. So as, as I remember, the um, over here, the this system here that actually uses the bio sludge, it was kind of a, all sort of fitted together quite nicely, having it as a single thing. And I guess I could I could have somewhere that produces bio sludge. That's basically this thing. Um, and, and just all, yeah, all, all sort of loops around and makes it all in one place. Uh, 
but then I would also need to then have, yeah, I'd need to have this, 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 and this, and this, all of this there as well, because this is what, it takes all of this stuff to actually make bio sludge, because you need to grow bio stuff to make the bio sludge, and to make that you need bio sludge to go into the pink pink goo making to make go into the pink pot pink goo pot making to go into the green goo pot making to get to make the biological samples and then feed them back around again so all of this would have to be in my bio goo facility but then i could put my bio goo facility here and then just ship bio goo is it ship do i do i need bio goo for do I need? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. And then I'd be shipping bio sludge and bio samples off to wherever I do the bio research, and then shift, shipping contaminated bio sludge and probably contaminated cosmic water back again. That seems reasonable, I think. And the alter the alternative is to be shipping the cleaned up bio sludge back over there and hoping there's room to shove it in, and that's probably manageable, but. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether which which I like more at the moment. Whether I want whether I want to bring the um, whether I want to have the producing of the bio sludge off with the bio science, or whether I want to have it with the recycling because then I'll be then I'll just be exporting it and I can fill the tanks up rather than having to try and balance the two. Um. I'm not going to worry about it for now. <laughs> That's the easiest way to deal with it. I'll just put it in a tank and forget about it. Okay, so off the top of here, what, what I am going to do, though, is fall off into space. That's always fun. Um, get out, get the um, this stuff back out again and make it much smaller. So it's the cosmic water I'm bringing back at the moment. So let's bring it back across about here. Where do I want it to go in? That's the question, if you pardon the expression. Um, okay, so we've got cosmic water here. This looks like a good place. Let's go in at this height. That's not too far up. Yeah. Now, for that, I'm going to need <laughs> to go off and go and get something else. Because one of the things that space exploration provides you with, which is quite nice, are these ludicrously long pipes. Um, so I want to request some of those as well. Ludicrous pipes, ludicrous pipes. Uh, yeah, alright, 50 of them. That's probably massive overkill, but never mind. And I also want to have some normal pipes. Let's just make sure I don't run out of them. Whenever I flip back over here, it'll give me everything I need. So there we go, there's my 50 silly pipes. And these are much, much cheaper than making the equivalent distance out of normal pipes. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put that there, remove those two, it'll flow through good like that. Then I can get my silly silly pipes and put them in like this. So each one of these is a single item and there are two re two big advantages to doing it like this. One is that the, the pipes are actually, they're, they're more expensive than a single pipe but they're much cheaper than making 15 normal pipes. And also from the point of view of the game flowing fluids, they're much less processor intensive. They're as processor intensive as a single piece of pipe. So you can put down massive long runs of these things without worrying quite as much as you would in vanilla if you're running down a pipe a pipe run of this sort of distance. Because this is kinda silly. Um actually let's Oops. <laughs> I was going to say, let's put a pump in here to make sure that uh, the liquids only go in the correct direction. Um, I can do that in here, actually. Pump, 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 pump. And let's just whack it straight across there. And we'll put in a tank as well, just for sort of storing, storing excess at this end, just in case. Uh, right, now the other thing I was talking about for this was power. Ooh, don't fall off. What have I told you about falling off? So we're going to need all of those um, exotic power power plants, power, power solar panels. That's the word. I'm looking for solar panels that are brought over. So I'm going to slap down some land over here, um, like that, and get.
get out the solar panels. And as I said, these things produce so much power that you don't need quite so many of them as you would with the vanilla ones. And these are chucking out 7.5 megawatts because we're 850, 830% more power than you would normally get from these because, because we're in space and there's we don't have the atmosphere interfering. Well, that's slightly annoying. I can't put them <laughs> that distance apart. Hey, Gort. Well, welcome back. I'm in space and I'm making a space power station. Yes. In fact, I'm making a, not only am I making a space power station, I'm also making space re, a space recycling plant. So it's all all kinds of very boring. No, not not, not boring. That's not quite the right word, but sort of just infrastructure that. Um, but this is exciting because it's in space. <laughs> now we'll link that all down down here, and we can start actually powering. We can start powering things if the pilot had a long enough range. For goodness sake. I mean, I know this is why we have bigger pylons available, but I, you know, I don't know. Just haven't used any yet because I'm lazy. Right, power everything up. Power all the things. Hyperbole and a half meme, etc., etc. Okay. So, are we happy with this? No, because this isn't linked up. What are you? You're you're going to be contaminated. You're contaminated cosmic water. You're going to be contaminated bio sludge, which is this one. So that needs to be linked across. Yeah, alright, let's do that. She's not. She's been close. There we go. So that's linked across there like that. Good. That kink is annoying me. I'm, I'm tempted to move everything around so it's not so um, annoying. But no, I won't. I won't do that. Right. So I think that's everything linked up. Let's um. Let's make a train. Do I have trains? I don't have trains. I'm <sighs> Welcome to Lawrence flies back and forth over the same bit of empty space, going to get various bits of um, hardware that he's forgotten. And I'm pretty sure I've got locomotives. I only need one. And wagons, of which I need two. And f fluid wagons, of which I need to click in the right place, which I also need two. Two. Bring, bring, bring. There we go. Have I got any coal? Yeah, I've got some fuel in my inventory. That's all right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is if I, if I come back over here, I'm going to build the drop. Um, let's call this recycling drop off. We'll just drop because that's apparently how I name things. Um, you'd think I'd know by now, wouldn't you? Now, if I stick the tr train in here. And this is going to be because because I can't plan can't do things sensibly. This is a this train is fluid cargo cargo fluid. Yes, I'm afraid so. Um, and so I'm going to give it some coal. Um, oh, this isn't going to get fueled up automatically like the other one is. Okay. Uh, that's slightly annoying. So, so the other trains are getting are getting fueled up automatically here because I put this coal belt in. It's just running down to where they where, uh, to, to, to all of them because there's a supply of coal here. Over here, of course, there's no there's no fuel at all of any sort. Is there? No, we're unloading red circuits, copper, and cryonite. And I don't think you can run a train off any of those. Oh, recycling will eventually get vulcanite. That's not particularly helpful. No, I don't think there's anything I can actually usefully load in down here. Uh, fuel the train up with down here. I'm just going to have to bring supplies in as well. Or manually keep reloading the train every time it runs out of um, fuel, which is bloody stupid. But I, So I don't want to do that. Um, anyway, let's not worry about that just yet. So your schedule is to go to uh, scrap pickup. Uh, no, that should have been a shift click. Let's go to scrap pickup. Uh, until idle and then go to recycle drop until empty I guess yeah I, w I want it to empty it should empty um, why is it stopped seriously why is it stopped destination full okay go back to recycling drop I mean it shouldn't be full in fact let's go and Let's go and fix that station because that station shouldn't be full because it's. I mean, it shouldn't be full of trains because it is full of stuff. <laughs> so, so we've got here we've got the twenty-five thousand cosmic water that's causing the problem. Here we've got. Um, so I said minus fifteen k. If anything is greater than zero, then output 
one green bottle. There we go. Ah, so this is you're right. Yes, this was doing. If anything, I'm not sure exactly what that was outputting. Maybe it, maybe everything. There we go. So now here we go. This train now loads up with all of the junk that's been brought in by um, all the junk that's been accumulated in the station, and can then trundle off again. And that means these all kick back into action because they've um, they can start working again. Because they can start. This is using the, the slightly better of the uh, the recipe. So in the previous um, previous stream, I, I was talking about how the different um, how how space exploration has various different recipes available for some of the different things you need to do. So polish. Um, sub, yeah, here we go. Polish. Why did it not pick up on polish when I searched for it? So we've got the two two recipes here. You can either do rough data storage substrate and a chemical gel makes polished, or you, um, or you can do the one where you take one rough data storage and five cosmic water, and you get the polished data substrate, down, and you get some waste as well, uh, which is five contaminated cosmic water and some scrap. And those I can then take down here. All those get taken down here, and that's cheaper because it gets recycled, so it comes down here. That dirty cosmic water that we've just acquired goes in here, and we start pumping out clean cosmic water into this tank, which then hopefully this one will start to pump out. I need to go and set some um, rules on the other side. And this all churns through, and it produces, essentially it cleans out all of the stuff that I've been... It cleans out that cosmic water so it can be used again to make to make more of the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Make more of the substrate, polish more of the substrate, so it goes round and round and round, um, and that way, that way things are generally efficient and nice. So because I need some cosmic water down here, I'm going to wire up this um, this pump here to only run if I've got more than, say, I don't know, five thousand cosmic water, should we say? If that's greater than five thousand, which which it probably is most going to be most of the time, because uh, I think we're going to fill this up fairly quickly. I also need to um, make sure there's room at the other end for this. So I think this pipe is full at the moment, because we've got this machine here merrily making cosmic water as fast as it can, which made sense at first when I, when I first built it up, because I wanted to ha make sure there was plenty up here for the trains to take. But now it doesn't make quite so much sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack in a tank somewhere, um, like um, somewhere. <laughs> Where am I going to put this tank? Uh, I suppose I could put it here, that might do. And then I could put a pump on the output of this to make sure it doesn't produce it too quickly. So. Um, my tank in here. I'll probably need to do this with lots of the other fluids at some point as well. But, you know, one at a time. Uh, you are not to run all the time. You are to have a pump so that I can control your output. I wonder what's to pipe that as well. Um, and you're only to run when that tank is at less than, say, 10,000. 10,000 seems like a good number. And that way, all the rest of it can get pumped around this pipe from the ones at the bottom. Um, and that should keep it keep it flowing nicely. And actually, if I put in another pump... If I put in another pump here... Then I can make sure that the pumps... That the tanks at the railway station are always full. And, and this one is acting as a sort of a buffer for those. So I think that's probably the best way to do it. Let's pump that up to up to being completely full. This machine has stopped because that's got to 11,000 now. And that must mean that this system over here is pumping the cosmic water throughout of here. So this is going to be kept at, at 5,000. And this pump will run to keep it at 5,000. Um, this is... Yeah, because that's, that's gradually flowing through. What, we, what remains to be seen is whether this one machine here is going to be fast enough all by itself to keep this tank from getting completely filled up. Uh, we need to... Why are these... Oh, yeah. I'm just using these as stack inserters rather than filter stack inserters, so I should do that. It's slightly wasteful um, because you don't need to have... Can I do that? No, 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 no. Oh, cock rumbles. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't need to have um, 
you don't need to spend the extra whatever it is, a couple of green circuits or something, on um, on making the on making on putting the filters into them. However, using filter inserters everywhere means that there's less stuff to carry around with you in your, in your inventory. So it's a, a slight advantage there. Um, what I should actually be doing here, of course, is this. Is it? I can never remember which side they put things on when they when the belt is facing away from them. Um, I had some scrap and fixed it. There it is. Okay, so I do want I want to do it that way around. So that way we've got three putting onto either side, and it'll just feed it. Yeah. So that should feed it smoothly onto both sides of the belt down here eventually. I don't care right now, but I'm going to want potential for um, expansion in the future. So it comes down here. We put in a splatter. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I know I can work it out. I can just never remember for some reason whether it's onto the left or the right side. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, right? So we, we're working down here. We've got we've got rid of the um, the unwanted co contaminated cosmic water, which has produced cosmic contaminated bio sludge. We've cleaned that up. We haven't done anything with that yet, but we will sooner or later. And the key is there any other outputs from this? No, okay, it's just the bio sludge and the, and the and the scrap, the contaminated scrap. So that comes around here, feed fed into here. We get out the um, put in the clean cosmic water to get out the bio sludge, contaminated bio sludge and contaminated cosmic water. Okay, I've not dealt with the um, contaminated cosmic water yet from here. Uh, do I have a pipe for that? I don't have a pipe for that. That needs to go all the way back up to here. Where's the best place to do that? So what I'm going to need to do with this is bring it out like that, probably to here. <laughs> It'll just be a bit wasteful with space, I don't care. And I need to feed this in to that one. <laughs> okay, um, maybe I should have been... I'm going to bring the end of it one, one foot square further across, just to make the just to make it easier at the north end. So then put that there, that there, and that there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that's those are all looped around. The only thing I haven't dealt with now is, as I said, is the uh, is the bio sludge from here, and that I'm going to work on in a bit because it's, I think. I'm going to make I'm going to make a um, a big recycling facility here for the scrap first, while I'm still thinking about what I want to do exactly what I want to do with the um, with all this biological goop up here, because um, I am going to need to make quite a lot of it somewhere, but I haven't decided where yet. I think it probably is going to be here, but I haven't really decided. Okay, so now we need to make recycling facilities. And this is going to need to be enormous because we're going to find, once I start getting, once I start doing material science in any quantities whatsoever, we're going to find that we have essentially this sort of size system is needed because material science, that's this one, uh, this all of this stuff, spits out so much scrap. It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, okay, granted, that's the challenge. That's why it's what it's for. It's, 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 to make, it's to make you deal with the deal with the logistics of having a massive byproduct output. Is the whole point of the game, uh, or that part part of the game? But it is huge. So we're going to need to have a very large recycling facility in over here. But I but I don't need to do the um, memory card recycling over here this time, which I did before. I, I I did memory card and scrap in the same place. Now I've got memory card scrap coming out and being recycled here i'm probably going to need to put more machine more of these machines in but that's fine they can just stick out it this way as as usual off my min, mini bus um and then but then they can then feed the, the scrap back in here because i don't these produce both no these these produce good memory cards and some dead memory cards and this turns the dead memory card into scrap and then that's one less thing to think about being imported into my into my uh, into my uh, recycling plant down here so that's that's how we uh how we do this now, it's just occurred to me, I am going to have to deal with the oil output of this as well. That's going to be a bit annoying. Um, I should have left that row in. Um, that's another thing. I haven't really... Oh, actually, that's okay. I can pipe that over here and shove it into the um, heavy oil 
pipery over pipe pipery that's uh, like potpourri but less smelly and better for transporting liquids over there and uh, and sort it out and, and just add it add it to that i could transport the iron and the copper up over here on a mammoth belt as well i don't really want to do that though kind of torn because the simplest way to do it would be to just dump all of the outputs of the well yeah the outputs of this onto onto a filtering system and then smelt it on site or even just smelt it up here because i've got vulcanite over here but no i can bring the um i can bring the other drop off train in to do the to drop off vulcanite here and so that's not a problem so i can do the smelting down here and then i can pipe the iron the copper and the stone on a single belt, to be honest, coming over here, up here, along the edge of here, and then just filter them out into these, onto these belts here, and just push them into these into these uh, chests. That wouldn't be too difficult. But running, I don't know. I don't. I don't like the idea of running long belts around the factory. I don't really like the idea of running long pipes across the factory like this either, to be honest. But um, it didn't seem quite so bad somehow. Um, but I could, I could, so I could run. I could run another train, and I could have a, a drop-off point up here, where trains can just drop anything that any sort of miscellaneous stuff they've got that goes that can go back into this system. But I don't think there's going to be very much of it. I don't think there's anything that produces produces resources again, apart from the recycling of scrap. Um, I mean, I don't think I don't think there's something you do and it spits out green circuits or it spits out steel or it spits out vulcanite or anything like that. So. I suspect there's not going to be much point in doing that, and and the reason I originally started off building the um, building the recycling plant here was so that I could easily transport stuff back over into into, into the base. So yeah, let's let's go back to let's 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 run 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 the belt over. I've, I've talked myself into it. <laughs> I am um, apparently easily convinced. And there's going to be a pipe anyway for the heavy oil because I'm not I'm not running another. Um, 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 train just for heavy oil. So that one, uh, rotate them so that it's in the middle. And then we need some inserters to put it in. And we need some inserters to take it out. In, out, in, out. So I'm shake it all about. bring that back that way uh, before we do the sorting because I want to be able to expand that outwards the other way without having to worry about it then we're going to need the smelting station so we have more of this now it does occur to me that I could just have the belt head straight back up again put vulcanite on the other side of it and let all the smelting stations just grab whatever they want oh dear what's broken Can you meet Sulfuric acid drop with unscheduled cargo. Oh dear. Um, excuse me a moment. <laughs> oh, sulfuric acid drop must be here. Why have you got oil? Why have you got oil? Go and put the oil somewhere. Until empty. Just, just go. Just go and do that. Why? What? Why, why? Why has that failed? I guess these are full, but. In that case, if these are full, why did the train go off and go and get some more? Am I even using this oil? Not really. That train is just going to be sat there for approximately forever now. <sighs> I suppose I could ditch some... There shouldn't be water in here. Why is there oil water in here? Why is there water being fed into my oil supply? They're completely immiscible. That shouldn't happen. Oil comes in from. Oil, oil, oil. I don't. I don't know why there's oil coming into my. Um. Water coming into my oil oil supply. Uh, trace the pipes. Trace the pipes. Trace the pipes. It's presumably going to be something like this. But no, it doesn't go anywhere else. I 
am confused. There's no branches off here, apart from these ones that are running down here, and these are all going straight across to the oil usagey things there. This then comes across here, goes into the station, tra tra train without anything, any problems there. Unless it got in earlier and it's just sort of flowing out of somewhere. These don't produce water. These produce water as well. Oh. But. The water. Is it this? Could this be what's causing the problem? Where they've got these oil and water outputs pressed against each other. Hmm. I think I'm for now just going to have to deal with it. And dump some, <laughs> dump some of this oil into out into the into the nether, just to empty the train, so I can start doing things properly again. There we go. Now that can go and get some sulfuric acid or whatever it's supposed to be doing. And um, we can just worry about my contaminated water su oil supply over here. That seems. Oh, the weird thing is, it seems to be able to be full of oil and then fill up with water as well. Um, that's quite a trick. Oh, I don't care. I'm not dealing with that. So. What was I saying? <laughs> yes, so smelting here. I, I could just have one belt coming, looping around, splitting the... Um, in fact, this might be a nice, fairly neat way to do it. I can, do, I can tell that to split out the stone. Like that. Feed that along like that. That along like that. And I'm going to need some of the um, space smeltatorium things. What are they called? Um... Yes, smeltatorium is a technical term. These ones? No. It looks a bit like this. They're, all the space stuff looks a, a little bit... Oh, that one. Thermodynamics facility. I need some of them. Apparently five. Five is a number. Are there any? There are some. Excellent. Come, my pretties. Bring me useful stuff. Did I get the... Uh... No, I haven't got those yet. There's one on the way. <laughs> Great. All right, let's go and tell the... Um... Buildy machine to build, buildy but build face to build some more thermodynamics facilities. You make me stuff, 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 stuff. That stuff. I've landed inside the um, manufacturer and I can't get out. There we go. One of these days, I'm going to end up landing in a building like that, and I'm going to just as, because I've just run out of rocket fuel, and then I'm going to be absolutely stuck. Those were laser facilities I just picked up, not rocket, uh, not um, yeah, <laughs> not thermo, th thermodynamic facilities. Thermo, 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 thermo. That one. They do actually look basically the same, don't they? Yeah, that's got an orange decorations on it, and that's got red decorations on it, but otherwise they're identical buildings. Okay. Make me stuff. We've run out of art. We've run out of steel. Why is, is this requesting more steel? No, that's why we've run out of steel. Now, let's see, some of the, these things, I'm going to dump some of these buildings that I don't need right now. Um, because otherwise I'll end up with too much stuff I don't really want. Uh, you can have some, no, that's, that goes on the other side, let you in there. The other thing is, when every time you, every time you, cancel what that what that machine is making you end up with a load of stuff in your inventory that you don't necessarily want um, because it won't feed it back into the chest it got it out of when you change the recipe it just dumps it in your inventory straight into your inventory now i could do it remotely using the um satellite view navigation satellite view doohickey uh, and that would work but then, then it just scatters it on the ground around it and the uh, construction bots come in and pick it up and that would actually work quite well they then just take it away and put it somewhere useful so how do we not have steel Steel is one of the things that's supposed to be just just brought up in the you know in the in the rocket rocket of um, doom. But I do appear to have actually run out of steel. That's very strange. Uh, let's take some from here. I say run out of steel. I mean I've run out of steel in the um, in the old style system, not the new style system. The new style system should, in theory, never run out of anything, and should always have a Massive, massive quantities of everything as well. Uh, I've got how many of how many of those things have I got? The orange one, two. I've only got two of them. Uh, okay, three of them. 
Uh, why didn't I just put the steel straight in the machine? That would have been smart. Why are these things so expensive as well? All these space buildings... Okay, the space buildings are pretty big, I suppose. Maybe that's why they're expensive. But it's a bit of a surprise when you go, oh, here's 100 steel. Oh, that makes me one thermodynamics facility. Great. Okay, thermo facilities. I need at least two. Absolute minimum two. I'm going to put in four. Because... I expect to need just generally more of absolutely everything. Oops, I've run out of thing. Uh, completely run out of thing. Right. Uh, oh, I'm going to... I'm going to go and get some more um, space scaffolding because I have completely run out. That's something I haven't really thought about, actually. Space scaffolding is something I get through quite a lot of. And I've set up the... Um, I've set up a big construction facility for it on Norvis because it's cheaper. It's easier to build stuff on Norvis. Um, and then it's all getting shipped up by rocket, as you'd as you'd expect. And that that works, but it's something I'm I'm, I'm sort of trying to move away from that that sort of rocket system. Um, so should I be? I don't I don't want to have entire rocket loads of space scaffolding come up. That seems silly. Um, and just sort of massive, massive overkill. And I know, I know, there's no overkill. There's only open fire and time to reload. But that does just does seem a bit excessive. I'm going to do a dirty as well and do that, just because otherwise I know I'm just going to get some stuff going past and not getting used up. Uh, okay, so we can... <sighs> Saving again. <laughs> these along here like that. Uh, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put these in the middle. That doesn't then reach, so I'm going to need to do that. But then I can do this, and it'll be enough for, yeah, all of that. Uh, I also... Um, I'm going to need to have a, an input of vulcanite here. And so I'm going to need another station. Oh, I can't have a I can't have a I can't have a drop two I can't have a drop off and a pickup station in the same um, no sorry I can't have an on demand and a station trains park at on the same line because it'll jam up so this can only be this literally can only be for this train now so actually what I'm going to do is this oops even in space railway is tricksy. Uh, check back. There we go. I mean, I suppose there's no reason I can't overlap them like this. And that looks kind of cool. Kind of. Uh, means I need to then put the signals on the inside of them like that and that. And probably have signals there and there just for good measure. Um, and then I can put down a much smaller piece of this I think like that and a station got a lot of stations not sure why okay so this this one is going to be one of this train the one that's just gone uh, so that needs to be a locomotive and two wagons where the rear wag where, where I'm unloading from the front wagon and I am specifically unloading vulcanite from it so I need to have this about Probably about here. Um, don't fall on the belt. I should make a, um, a belt immunity equipment at some point, shouldn't I? So here we put that in there. We tell this one to only unload vulcanite and to put it in a box. And we don't want the box to fill up because that would be crazy. So we'll put it about there. And another one to unload it. Also unloading vulcanite. We have unlocked belt like that, comes up here, across here. Like that. <clears throat> we give it some power. Now what's it complaining about? Oh it's Why is that train still going to oil drop? I'm gonna have to go over there and have a, a shout at it at some point, I can tell. I've obviously done something dumb. Um, Alright, let's have a quick look at this. 
you are saying 100, minus 150, wired up to everything. That's on 11,000 at the moment. Let's change that to a minus 100,000. Because that's what the train carries. In fact, let's make that minus 75,000 because it keeps breaking and I want to make sure. <laughs> and there we go. Um, so has my dumbass train gone off somewhere with a load of... Now it's gone off somewhere with sulfuric acid left over in it. Jeez. Uh, uh, that is 100,000. Maybe it does need to be... Those, those are all linked up. Yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know why that's being peculiar and difficult. I'm going to make it latest problem. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is my um, scrap dealing with the system. So I, this this one needs. I need one of these to do the um, turning iron into. No, yeah, turning iron, cooking iron ore, cooking copper ore. I suppose I could have done the um, the not using vulcanite one, then I wouldn't have needed this station. But yeah, it's 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 it is better this way. It is tidier and more efficient. And I need a tiny bit more of that, and I'm going to need a comparator and a. I'd, actually, I technically I don't need the full um, combinator. Oh, run out of stuff again. I don't need the full um, combinator, comparator, and um, no, that's it. They're just those two uh, because because there's only one thing there. So I could do it just in the station, um, but it's green circuits. But I'm going to do it that way anyway because then when I copy it for somewhere else, it's easier. Or copy it from somewhere else, it's easier. Okay, so down here, ooh, scree, land. Fine, that'll do. <laughs> uh, so what I want to do is I want to make a copy of this system up here, which has a combinator set with the... No, this one down here, which has a combinator set with the negative numbers of the things we want, and then a decider combinator that will look at those and then output an appropriate number. Why is this train sitting, just sitting here? Oh, it's... I need to... Oh, it's waiting for the... Okay, that'll do. That's fine. Um, so I put in my uh, constant combinator, that one, with the things that I want. I put in my decider, then, which needs power, power. So I link everything up. So box, pylon, pylon, constant, and comparator. And I say, I want to always have at least a hundred vulcanite in this in this station. So I set that to minus a hundred. So this is now outputting a minus a hundred. I then tell this one that if anything is less than zero, then you have to output one green square standing on the wall. And we tell this station that it needs to be wired up as well. It doesn't even it doesn't even need to be a um, LTN station, but I seem to put one in there anyway. Because that's what I had in my pockets is. So we don't need that, don't need that. Do need set train limit based on green squares. So when this outputs a green square, which it should be at the moment, why isn't it? If anything's... Because I've linked up the wrong thing, okay. So it is outputting a green square, I just wired up the wrong damn thing to it. Because I don't want to wire up the... Um... No. Which one's the station? That one. I want to wire up that one to the station like that. Then we have, there we go, enable train signal. The train signal is limit is set to one. No, train limit is set to one. So this train, when it finally finishes sitting here, just unloading very, very slowly. Oh my god. <laughs> go away. So yeah, the problem is this does get through the um, it's that inactivity thing. So the problem I have here is that the train turns up It'll gradually unload into the um, into this chest. The chest will fill up to the amount it's supposed to have in it. But because it is steadily using it, the train then just sits there. 
very gradually unloading. And because it's gradually unloading, you don't get the five seconds of inactivity or whatever it is it's set to. So it just stays there forever. I could set that to one second of inactivity, I suppose. See if that's any better. Or I could set the or I could set the total time to a significantly less than 120 seconds. Let's do that as well. And I could obviously, I obviously need to set a slightly higher hysteresis on this thing because it's just immediate. It's just ripping through all of the stuff that's brought in and then asking for more immediately. Um, So that should just be un emptying the train out. Oh, and then it's the red circuits that are sitting there trickling out at a very slow rate and keeping it bit, keeping it distracted. So we've emptied that out of copper. So the train now had its second of, it, of idleness and went. The problem is, we're building memory cards so fast. I mean, okay, it's going to stop fairly soon when this gets catches up. But we're building memory cards so fast that it's never getting a chance to um, go elsewhere. 30, probably 120, 110, <laughs> and now it'll be below the, the amount it's trigger, triggers on. So, this is a bit, this is a slight problem. Maybe this train needs to carry more copper. But it's also, it's the downside of how quickly it loads and unloads, because there's only one inserter loading and unloading it at each end. Okay, so that slows it down as well. It's a bit of a crappy system. I probably should have had, I probably should have done whatever it, what, there's some, somebody said in one of the comments somewhere that I should have, um, had a separate train for each separate resource and to be honest they're probably right i quite liked the idea of one train turning up and unloading all the stuff I, even if it isn't really working very well it seemed like a nice idea at the time um and for things that are relatively low throughput it'll probably be absolutely fine it's just this appears to be quite high throughput on the old copper front um because these take six copper plates for each one and it runs every well, it says it's a 10 second crafting time, but these, these machines have a run at a crafting speed of 10. So it's, so it's 6 copper every second, basically, which is pretty much as fast as these inserters can put it in. On the plus side, though, this is going to back up eventually. So maybe I'll just sort of ignore, the, ignore that for now and just carry on and with the next bit. <laughs> Whatever that should be. Oh, yeah, I know what the next bit's going to be. Um, the next bit is going to be running the belt out of here with all of the finished products on it. So let's do that. First things first, put down a massive quantity of scaffold. Second thing second, work out where I want to come up and meet it. I think it's going to be here. Yeah, I can, I can skip over all of the stuff. And it'll run it next to this belt, which feels neat and tidy. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with how close those were to lining up. Now it's down. Go up. There we go. I feel like I should go around mining some of these um, meteors of no, it's, it's a bit weird in a, as, as far as you know real world physics goes because you get the um, the meteors come down and even in deep space they just sort of land there and I'm pretty sure that's not how meteors work This is going to be the fun bit <laughs> for certain values of fun. So we're going to need some underground, big section of underground here to play with. Now, so we can ha put in a splitter here that says I want the iron plates to go to the left, and then split it there like that to accept them. And I want to say input priority from the right. We then do that again here. And say we want the no, not copper ore, copper plates to go to the left. This also goes underground. We do that. 
priority right. No, that's output priority. I don't care about the output priority. Input priority matters though. Pick those up. And then all this belt has only got stone on it, which I need to somehow get up here. Now there is a gap. I can go up here where the power per cables are. Um, I guess I just have to come all the way up here, which is a bit dirty, like that, and feed it in here with an input priority on the left. Yeah, it's a bit dirty, but it works. And, the, and as I said, I don't expect there to be anything else coming out of there, so that should be alright. Oh yeah, and then I need this final belt coming across from here. There we go. One horrible, horrible, long, dirty, massive belt piece. <laughs> However, this can expand out as necessary to, to fill up a bit of that space and make it a bit less dirty and horrible. And if I mine up some of these asteroids, I'll give me something to chuck in these um, in these smelting machines just to, just to make sure the whole system is actually working. Which it won't be because there's no vulcanite yet. Um, but you can have all of that. You can have all of that. So can you? So can you? Interesting, I've got 25 uranium ore from somewhere. It must must have just all come from um, picking up the, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, asteroids. It's weird, Me meteors. I'm, I'm fairly sure I've not noticed getting particularly large amounts of, why am I doing this like this? Large amounts of meteor, uh, large amounts of uranium from meteors before. Um, I'm not sure why it's so noticeable this time. Yeah, have that. You can have that. No, you can't, because you're not running yet. There we go. So this will all feed along here. Should feed up here. I, mean, I can't see it working at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it will. We just need to get enough demand on the um, on the iron, the copper, and the stone that we use it all up as fast as we uh, as fast as we produce it from scrap, I guess. <laughs> okay. So that's that step. Um. Now the other question is how much of this power, not so much how much of this power am I using, because it is basically none, it's how much of this power am I going to be using when all of this run, is running at full tilt. Um, I have no idea. I, I, I'm i just going to leave it for now and see if it's a problem later, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, that, could, that, could be, that can be a problem for later. Right, so that's the... Um, that's that sorted out now. We've got the um, we've got the the, the, the pro reprocessing of the uh, the cosmic water and its derivatives, and then we've got the reprocessing of the scrap and its derivatives. So that's 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 done. Next thing now is going to be the um, that bio goop that I was talking about earlier, and that's going to be slightly more complicated um, because it's not just it's not just one machine doing it. It's this whole series of things. Um. I think that this doing just doing this again is the is the correct way to do it. Um, yeah, so this is going this is going to again produce contaminated bio goop, but uh, that's okay. I have a system for dealing with it, and contaminated bio water, uh, cosmic water. That's okay. I have a again system for dealing with it. Do we take in? Oh, we need we need orange slimes. Okay, so what what do we what do we need for this? We have an input of um, cosmic water. That's fine. We've got loads of that around. We've got the input of these biological things. I, they go round and round in circles. So I can come over and pick up a load of these. That's okay. We have the orange goo. I haven't got orange goo here yet. So we're going to need to bring that in. Pink goo is made on site. Green goo is made on is, is made, made on site. That's the whole point of this. I think. Yeah. Pink green goo is made made here. So that's, yes, so these are the point of this. Um, and oh, oh, we also need a, supply, a steady supply of this uh, genetics data. Uh, that's unhelpful. <laughs> okay, um, that 
is it that is another diff that's a difficult input i don't i don't have that conveniently on hand so i think that because of that i'm going to change my cunning plan and i'm going to have another system where i for dumping out the um dumping out the the the, the uh the goo and taking it away by train to the to the biological facility wherever i end up making biological science and doing it all there because then i don't need a separate place that's making genetic science and all this sort of nonsense so I, th I think that's probably going to be a better way to do it it's a bit of a shame because i was i was liking the idea of sort of self-containing all of this stuff in, into one place but that's that's okay i can i can i can i can deal with that so that means another train station for, t for a train to be parked in that's taking away the uh, the bio sludge um the bio sludge is being made here it's, it's not being made in very large quantities though so i don't think we'll, i don't think this train is going to be traveling particularly often this probably is the point where i should start thinking about using ltn really um rather than having individual trains for every single thing i consider and so on the same logic maybe I should here as well but but I think scrap and waste products is, is going to be produced in enough quantities from enough places that having a dedicated train for it makes a certain amount of sense right so if I, if I put in this yeah I can, I can put in an LTN station there for the bio sludge and take that and, and get rid of that as much as I possibly can that, that's fine I'm now starting to think maybe I should have mini LTN stations for all of these and have these pushing things out the opposite direction. But that's going to be a bit of a pain. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad. What I'd do if I was going to do that is strip out all of these belts down the middle. And I reckon I could probably fit a system of stations in here. And one thing you can do one thing I could do is have all of the stations on the same line that just runs straight down the middle here. Um, and so, yeah, there'd be a lot of blocking going on. But it doesn't take very long to load up a train, especially not if it's a single carriage. Maybe I'll do that. I'll lose this pretty waterfall effect I've got going on here. Which is obviously the uh, absolutely tragic and is the um, the worst thing that could possibly the worst thing that could possibly um, happen about this idea. But do if but if I did that, then I could also get rid of this belt that feeds up across here, and just have another three mini stations down here taking all these byproducts away. And same with this pipe actually as well. I could just have another another station for the um, cosmic water. This might be better. <laughs> I think this might be a nicer idea. I'm not going to do this on stream because this is just going to be ages and ages of me pulling stuff up and doing repetitive things to put it all back down again. But I think I'm starting to lean towards the idea that I should actually have separate separate trains for each different resource. Because I mean, you saw how daft it was when. Um, when that train was endlessly going up here, dropping off like 200 um, copper and then coming back again. I'm just going to get that everywhere because you can't fit enough of every... If you've got one train carrying everything, you can't fit enough of all the things you want into it. So I think I'm probably going to do that. I've, I've, I've talked myself into it pretty much. What I would also like to know is why we don't have any... Um, um, oh, I need to call it... Uh, supplies drop. That's why. <laughs> I should say why I don't have any vulcanite down here yet. It's because I hadn't named the station. So this this will do as sort of a, a quick proof of concept, I suppose. Make sure this is if this is working before I replace it with an actual proper LTN station that's demanding um, vulcanite. Train comes down. Train comes in. Train unloads vulcanite. Vulcanite goes into the system. Let's put some for purposes of. Get out of that mode. We have purposes of testing. Let's put some ores in here, like that. Yeah, so there we go. We've got the vulcanite going onto one side of the belt. We've got all the ores on the other. They get passed round. These machines happily do their smelting. They can't unload because I haven't put any um, exerters on them yet. Right, do that. Yeah. All right, that one reaches. 
And there we go, they chuck the um, the metals out as, as expected. So good, that is does seem to be working. And load a little bit more in. And I assume... Yeah, this is now all completely backed up because we're not using stone up at the moment. So that's another reason to... Um, to do this separately, although we've put the um, the iron and the copper on the opposite side of the belt to the stone. Um, I noticed that was happening as it was happening, so it's not a surprise, but um, whether it's a good thing or not, I'm going to say I'm going to say it's a good thing, because it, it splits out what's, um, what's going down the, down the belt a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's yeah, this is all, all, all fine, I suppose, if you like that sort of thing. I'm slightly miffed. Miffed isn't quite the right word, but it's a bit of a shame that um, I, I spent all, I spent quite a lot of time thinking about how this was going to work and how neat it was going to be, and I just didn't really think through put through properly. So it's just a crap idea, to be honest. Oh well, as I say, I can I can tidy that up and make it make it work and remove remove these um, crazy long belts and pipes and things and just just make things work. And with with LTN, I can put a higher priority on the on these sort of stations where stuff is being produced and will overflow compared to these ones that are just producing the source of it so that's yeah that's going to work nicely i think i hope i expect i wish um oh and then i can also do the instead of having the um memory cards being picked up from here i can have the memory cards being picked up from here which makes a lot more sense i'll probably run a train with the um well i could run a train with the these things over as well yeah i think this is just generally going to be a bit better okay i'm um Myth that I did it the wrong way in the first place, but hey, that's what Factorio is about, really, isn't it? You sort of you redesign things and rebuild them. I still love this um, effect you get with the um, with the wormhole pipes that are going that appear to be going underground, but are actually just going through some sort of I don't know wormhole in space because there is no ground there for them to go through. <laughs> uh, but I, but yeah, that's just obviously just a limitation of the engine. I shouldn't mock it too much. So that means. Either way, whether it, whether I do it this, whichever way I do it, I'm going to need to have another station here, going like this, like this. Be nice. There we go. Yeah, that's about right. Doesn't need to be anything like this long because it's only going to have a short LTN train in it. Like that. Put those in there and there. So what this one is for, is this is going to be for picking up the uh, the bio sludge. Now there isn't going to be room for this in the middle of here, that's okay, I'm going to put it out on the other side of there, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to need to put down a splattering, splattering, a, a smattering, a, a bit of this. I know I only actually need two by two, but I have no idea. Because the, um, the trains work, the stations work on a different grid to everything, oh. The trains work on a different grid to everything else. I need to make sure I've, um, uh, I'm able to put it in the right place. Put this, put the station down, and I made a bigger one than I needed to. So that's absolutely fine. That is, that is, yeah, okay, that is a station. It's not a ghost. Uh, right. So this is going to be a, um, this is going to be going onto one of the LTN trains that I'm going to start making. So all I need for this is um, a single. This is just going to be a single thing, at least for now like that. So I need to put in a pump, 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 like that, and a tank. No, it's a roboport. I, have I run out of tanks? I have. Okay. Tanks are also a thing I need to request. Let's go and get. Let's go and have a quick resupply. Do -de -do -de -do. Hello, bring me stuff, please. Hopefully, there's tanks up here. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to make one out of iron and steel and cheese. Uh, need more steel. Is it that one? That one. Apparently, tanks are not a thing I bring a supply of up here. I mean, that's that's probably fair enough. I mean, I. I uh, or is it? I don't know. Uh, put a tank in like that. Right. Where's the um, greenery? Here it is. This one. <laughs> put the, all these pipes here. Um, okay. Put that there. And then I can go underneath there. And, and uh, I need that. No, I need a small piece. 
miss that. So, and a bike. And we need power over here as well, of course. Mm, let's use that, because then I can do that and that. <laughs> it just, just reaches. Cool. So that's going to pick up all of the bio sludge, through all 396 of hit. <laughs> that's not, not a huge amount, but never mind, that'll do for now. Um, and then this is going to, then of course, it's an LTN station. I'm going to need to put in a combinator. And wire it all up like that. Uh, he says trying to remember how to do an LTN station because it's been so long since I did one that wasn't just copy and paste. Right, so we need to have um, a provide, th yeah, provide threshold of. I should put in a second tank, a second tank, shouldn't I really? Let's do that first. Um, <laughs> and we need to link that up as well. And then we want to provide when we have no provide threshold of twenty five thousand because that's how much goes in a train. Uh, we want to have a provide priority of a hundred because that's more than one or zero or whatever the default is. And and as 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 I was discussing, we want this to be the first choice of places for this stuff to come from uh, because we need to get rid of it. Um, network ID. I don't know. There is only one network up here, so, and I think it, I think it's it's a network ID per planet, so that's okay. I can leave that at one. Uh, it's not a depot. We've got an ID train length. I don't care about. It'll just call in the right type of train. It's not it's not requesting. Okay, I th think that's right. Okay, so when we finally get some LTN trains, <laughs> that'll work. Um, and then I'll need to reprogram this as well. So, but I'll, 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 yeah, I'll do that later. When I start actually having LTN train. When I, when I actually start set up the LTN, LTN train stuff. Okay, so that's one of the big things I wanted to do today. Ticked off. That's the recycling center. The next thing is somewhere that makes mirrors. Um, now, I was thinking I'll probably do that up here. Yes, on the op basically on the other side of it, because my, my sort of my vague idea that I'm sort of drifting towards at the moment is to have essentially have the the an area this 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 line is going to be where intermediate ingredients are made, like things like the memory cards and the um, uh, and, and and the mirrors and and, and so on. That, th those sort of things, the sort of things that are going to get used by a number of different a, d a number of different science facilities. Then down here, we're going to do the the recycling, and I should put radar in there. I'm going to do that before I forget because it's really annoying when you don't have radar in places. So this area down here is going to do all of the um, the recycling of the of essentially the recycling of scrap and cosmic water and its derivatives. Then. Up over here, obviously, this is this is raw materials. So this is where raw materials are brought in from off other. I was going to say other planets. This isn't a planet. So from from the planets, from anywhere from anywhere else. So raw materials are brought in by rocket or possibly delivery cannon to here. That's fine. Um, basic petrochem is being done here. So we're making the um, the different types of oil from coal, uh, cracking them as necessary, making lube, cosmic water orange goo and, and thermofluid. Um, I'm only making the, the warm thermofluid here. I'm not chilling it on, on site. Partly because it's slightly upsetting to, to transport around a, um, a cold fluid, put it in a train and have it come out at the other end. It's still at minus 273 degrees C and that make, that's ridiculous. Um, but also mostly because if I do it if I do it on site then I can just have a sort of a just circulate it. I don't have to worry about piping it all back to the um, Back to the uh, place where it back back to where it came from, so it's, it's one less sort of recycling thing to do. And this process does gradually use it up. So each one of these, 
um, will turn, will take in 100th fluid and only output 99 or something like that. Are the recipes even that favourable? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, so there we go. We take in 500 and output 499. So that's pretty good. We're only losing um, uh, 1 in 500, which is at 0.2%. So this stage. Similar, no, that one's 100% efficient, so that takes in 10 and outputs 10, but 5 cold, 5 hot, or 5 warm. Um, so yes, yeah, it's not so bad. This is another thing where there's quite a lot of different um, recipes, actually. Um, that's making it... So there's this, there's this one which produces 499 thermofluid, um, takes 200 seconds to craft it, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, or there's this one, which takes this. This one has ten times as much waste, so two percent waste, but takes a tiny fraction of the time. Um, that's barreling. And then this one is ten percent waste, but it's really, really quick. So there's there's different ways you can uh, you can cool it depending on how wasteful you want to be. So I've set these ones up to be the efficient recipe for now because there's no reason not to. At the moment, I, I don't I don't have a, a shortage of them of, of it. So it's yeah, that's a, a shortage of. The cool stuff. I'm not using it up fast enough, so I might as well. Um, I can, always, if I do find that I'm not producing the, the cold thermofluids fast enough, then I can either go in and um, replace these with either put more of them in, or I can start using the faster recipes in the, at the expense of using up a bit of the um, bit of the thermofluid. So I've got that. I've got that choice. Right. Where was I? <laughs> oh yes, I put radar in down here. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is start making mirrors. I think. Now, I'm going to leave plenty of space here in case I think of something else that's really important to go together with the memory cards that I've forgotten. Um, I don't think there is, but for now I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to leave that al well alone and I'm going to start building things on the other side of the of the re of the uh, of the um loop. I'm stop drifting. <laughs> it's really hard to just stop yourself still on the with the um jetpack. In fact, it's practically impossible. Send or something. There we go. So let's put in my first drop off. Have I run? I've run out of space rails. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I've only got two left. That's obviously another thing I need to add to my. Uh, now let's just come over here and grab them manually. Yeah, I know exactly where they're kept. In in this box here, I'll take some three, four hundred. I, I didn't see. I just grabbed, <laughs> grabbed a handful. Yeah, this guy has very, very big hands. Where was my little speck that I could stand on? Here it is. Ooh, scree. It's funny that you still have a little bit of um, air control, for want of a better word, when you don't when you don't have your jetpack on. I mean, I assume that's just so that if you run out of fuel, you're not completely stuffed. Um, but it, I don't know. It'd be, it would be amusing if you could run out of run out of um, rocket fuel and just end up drifting off into the um, off forever into the distance. Ah, uh, no, land on the <laughs> little island thing. That's what it's there for. Right, let's put down a bit more of this now. And I want to use another. What? Oh, maybe I need to have it underneath the rail as well. Or is it that? Oh no, no, I know what I've done wrong. I'm on the wrong side of the rails. This is a down line, not an up line. So I need to put it in here. There we go. I can land on that. There and then we need more signals in, of course, like that and that. Okay, um, I've forgotten what I'm supposed to be dropping off here. Oh, here's a thought. Here's a, here's a question for anyone who knows LTN a bit better than me. Can I set up? I, I believe this is going to work. I think I can set up multiple NTL, NTL LTN requests and have um, little and have separate inserters unloading them like I'll, I'll show you what I mean so if I put these in like this and their and, and their chests and then I have this one unloading 
low density structures if I can find them like that um, and same with that one and then I have this one unloading what else do I need for these mirrors glass iridium oh that's it apart from and then there's liquids so glass and iridium so I have this one unloading glug 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 glass and this one unloading iridium that's going that's, that's so that'll work excellent thank you Tristan Good, cool so that that means that makes my drop drop off stations a bit smaller and neater it means I don't have to quite do quite so much redesign of this thing um, I'll need to move the step the oh dear Oh no, I was going to say, I'll need, I'll need to move this down. That's fine, I can do that. Um, and it's not going to be a problem. It, it won't throw me, it won't give me an off by one problem because those aren't taking up the whole of the whole of the train length. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's great. I can I can do that. That there, that there, that there. And then, actually, better idea. If I put that, do that. Then I can take this, put it there, and then I can have liquid fluid unloading on the other side as well. Now I don't believe you can do the same with fluids, unfortunately. So I'm going to need I'm going to need a second station for, for fluid unloading, which is quite annoying. Um, yeah, because there's only going to be, I, s yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm only going to be able to have one liquid being unloaded by e from each station. I've used up all my tanks again, and I've used up all my iron this time. That's true, there is bound to be. <laughs> I feel like I've got already got quite a lot of mods. I'm not going to say I've already got enough mods, because there's obviously no such thing. Um, but I do already have quite a lot of mods installed. And I'm not sure how many I can have. Well, I, mean, I don't, when I say how many I can have, how many I can have before it starts to get a little bit silly. Also, there's a shortage of space here, um, so this might it might not be the best if I do. Oh, actually, there's enough. So I can have that one come out that way. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can have that one come out that way with an under underground. And then that one come out that way and immediately turn out the way. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a bit dodgy, but I can I can totally do that. Or maybe I should just move the whole station out a little bit further. Like that, uh, but not that. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Um, that feels slightly better, I think. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look for a filter pumps mod. I'll do it. I'll do it after I finish finish the stream. But um, yeah, let's give that a shot because that is an entertaining idea. I can put that there, and that there, and we have the other other liquids coming out like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> And then I need one of these because it's an LTN station. Then I need to link it all up with wires. And so this will be lots of minus things. So I want to have I want to have iridium ingots, and I want to have say minus two hundred of those because. They're, they only stack up to 50, don't they? But I can get but I can get four out of each, so that would be 800 bars. Um, stack up to 50. So it's only four. Oh, actually, that's only four stacks. 40 stacks. That's better. That's like a, that's like one chest. So that's a good number to have, I think. Oh, hang on. No, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a full train coming out. Let's say 1,000. So half a chest's worth. I don't like standing on the railway lines, even if I know there isn't, shouldn't be a train coming here. Why is that mirrors? That shouldn't be mirrors, because I'm making mirrors. Uh, <laughs> try it again. What was that supposed to be? Glass. That one. 
So I want glass. I think glass is stacks higher, so I'll put minus 2,000 of that. Then it was low density structures, which are another thing that stacks to 50. So I want minus 1,000 of that. And what are my liquids? Liquids are lube and orange uh, chemical gel. Lube, 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 lube is a vanilla liquid, so it's there. <laughs> vanilla lube. Vanilla lube, yes, yum. Um, Is that right? My, I'm, I'm struggling with the logic here. So let's see, we want to subtract 25,000 from what's in the tank. No, that's that's wrong. That needs to be a minus. Oh, okay, if I put in two tanks, then I can make that minus 20,000. Um, and then that'll work. Because um, the truck is obviously train has 20. Yeah, I need, I need to I need to have more space in the in the station for unloading into than there is in the tr than there is room in the train for the stuff that I'm bringing, or it's always going to never going to never going to work. So that's that and that and need that and that and I also need to wire them in like that and that. Okie dokie. I think that should yeah we've got that was a twenty thousand, not a minus twenty thousand. <laughs> right, so we've got a green signal on there because the station is ready. We're not summoning anything, yeah. So we've got the, we've got the um, LTN complaining, and it's going to complain forever because I don't have the um, I don't have anything to bring stuff out yet. But that's that's fine. I do need to get power over here. Will that reach? Oh, even better, the pile on there already. Excellent. Uh, that should probably be these. These should be on this side. Come to think of it. Um, I'm going to leave a. Leave that one in there because it looks it looks nicer if you have the wires going higher up over the top of the um, thing over the railway line rather than through the middle of it. it looks a bit silly, uh, but yeah, I'm going to need the pylons on this side to unload these chests as well. Hoop de dip de dip de dip de dum. Um, Yeah, I think that's done. And then we need to unload as well, of course. Since I've got the extra space to play with, let's do like this. I haven't got that much extra space to play with. Put it onto the right side of the belt. No, that's wrong. That's incorrect. But I can't do that because then they both put it onto the far side of the belt and then and we end up with it all on the same side. So I need to do that. That would work, but obviously I don't have the space for it. Well, I... That wouldn't work. So put it onto, put it onto the right side that's the inside of the curve. No, that's wrong again. <laughs> Keep. That'll do. I think no, it won't. <laughs> this is difficult. I'm just going to not worry about it for now and have a think about it when it's not um, 10 o'clock at night. Oh wait, that needs to turn much sooner than that for this to work. I should have moved this out a little bit further from the other line um, in hindsight. You know what, let's just assume we're not going to get through the iridice at any particularly high rate and do it like this. <laughs> I 
especially as I'm not entirely convinced that a single, that two, two stack inserters, I don't think two stack inserters can keep a belt full anyway, especially not a space belt. So there's, it doesn't actually matter whether I feed onto the same side of the belt or not, come to think of it. But, oh well, I've, I've put that in now, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep it as it is. Right, let's see, how do we make mirrors? We put all of these things together in a space manufactory. That's actually pretty trivial. It's uh, almost not worth having them built in a being built in a separate place, except I think I'm going to get through enough of them that it's worth having like five or six manufactories doing this. Um, and they're being made here. Except they're not because this has run out of blue inserters. Interesting. So these are basically... These manufactories are a bit silly. They're basically they're just assembly machines like this one, except they're massive. And yeah, so but oh well. That's the them was the rules. So I guess I'll be oh I've run out of space. <laughs> assembly machines as well, except there's loads on this belt for some reason. Have some of that. Does it take several of those as well? Yes, yeah, so it's four assembly machines, loads of inserters, loads of low density structures, just lots and lots of everything. These are expensive things. And I'm going to need some more low density structures as well. That comes from her at the moment. Oops, I just filled my inventory. That wasn't entirely deliberate. Have some low density structures. What I should do, of course, the sensible thing. Will be to put, well, actually, the sensible thing would be to have a request chest down, requesting all the stuff that this needs. But I could also just put down a... Uh, no, in fact, let's put down a request chest, and then I can program it later when I inevitably run out of stuff. And we can have all of that and all of... Did you get all of the assembly machines? You did get all the assembly machines I picked up. Excellent. Oh, I've now got, like, seven of these. Let's go, let's go and put those down. That'll be plenty. Okay, this is going to be a, a much simpler build than the the, the previous two because it's only, it only really requires um, one thing going in and, and then one thing coming out. So, but but manu space manufacturers are huge, so I'm going to put down that much to start with and see if that see how that goes. And then what these? Um, oh, I am going to need to um, turn the iridium in ingots into plates actually come to think of it so that's an extra thing that needs to be done two liquids going into each right so uh so you are going to be making mirrors that's these ones can i do the yes i can do the better the better recipe so what we'll do in fact you know what forget all of this nonsense over here Let's just that'll work, won't it? If I put stuff on there, in there, I don't have any of the low density structures because I put them somewhere else. Um, all right, if I put stuff in there and then, yeah, it goes onto the far side. Okay, that's fine. Thought I was pretty sure, but you know, you know how it is when you like to make sure, absolutely sure of something before you just slap all the pieces in place. Can I realistically squeeze? I need some more space assembly machines. enough. So we put... Let's do this properly. Oops. So we have a belt coming along here and then turning round. Because it, it does make future expansion easier if I realise I need more of Whichever side, I don't need to um, 
break it off in quite the same way. And then these go... You know what? I reckon I'm not going to need particularly large quantities of um, iridium. Actually, no, even better idea. Why don't I just take this off over here? Why don't I keep... Why don't I stop second-guessing myself and just do this the sort of the proper way in inverted commas? Right, what I'm going to do is run the iridium across here at the bottom because there's plenty of room for it there. This is going to go up there. Then we're going to put in a few of these assembly machines and we're going to make the, have them making iridium. I'm just going to do this the simple, straightforward way. It's going to be a surprise to precisely nobody. Just normal, you know, normal factorio. Rather than trying to overthink and do things in a weird, complicated way just for the hell of it. Okay, so we've now got a belt of iridium. I've got a belt of the other two ingredients. Belt down some more of this. And we can put in... We need more space in this because we're going to put in some um, fluids as well. Do that. I was just thinking as I was putting it in, is there any reason I should leave a bit more space for this? And I couldn't think of one, and then I did. So, so this goes here and here. And makes mirrors the new and exciting way. Okay, and we have... A chemical gel bus, for want of a better word, here. And we have a lube system here. In fact, I'm just going to use pipes straight across, like this. Then we have inserter, stack inserter, and a power pole for them. And presumably that's too far. Yes, of course it is. Oh, if I put the two machines butting up against each other, then it be then they w it would be long enough. Um, but I'd be worried about the inputs and outputs doing something weird at that point because, yeah, they're bound to. So I'll just do that. Power poles are cheap enough; it doesn't matter. Then all that's left to do now is to finagle this pipe from here. Over to here. So I'm going to put that there because it looks slightly less dodgy. And I need an underground belt for that, of course. That's fitted in reasonably well. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, then we need the two inserters over here again, of course. Plus exerters, like that. Why are these machines so big? And then an output belt as well. Yeah, that's in the right place. Good. And then, of course, we need an output station. And I'm going to I'm going to continue with this sort of crossover pattern thing because it, it feels slightly dirty, but I also quite like it. It's a nice pattern. But I'll stick with the a little bit further out look just for symmetry. So there, and there. That was slightly bigger than I expected. Oops, and that, and make it smaller. About, yeah, about that much is probably adequate. And a station. Oh, it's the other side again. <laughs> I mean, that's okay, I guess. I can put the station in about here. And 
can load it up there and then I don't need any of this. Barrack, yeah, spot on. Uh, so I can put in my inserters here. Actually, it might not be spot on. That might be one too short because I need to put the power pole in at the top end there. mirrors right and oh yeah power of course Bip, bop. Uh. <laughs> and because this is going to be an LTN station I now need to put in I need to also have the um, combinator for it and set it up to be a provider a provider station. Do, do, do. Put one of them in there. And wire everything up. And this should be, let's see, so this is this is a um, LTN pickup station. So we have a request threshold of Oh, you're supposed to put a request threshold of a million on the um, on the stations where you where you're dropping off, aren't you? So it's no, so trains don't come try and come and pick up from them. <laughs> I should probably do that. Um, how high do mirrors stack? Fifty. So fifty in a train. A train is forty stacks, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to check because I can't remember for sure. Yeah, 40 stacks. Thought so. Uh, so that's 2,000. So yeah, I can say provide when, en when over 2,000. That's fine. Uh, provide threshold 2,000. Um, it's on the same network as everything else. One is fine. Uh, request priority, I don't care. Request stack, th stack threshold, that's fine. Oh, oh, stack threshold, I could have just set that to 40. That would have been easier. <laughs> um, the rest of it's okay, though. And then... <laughs> yeah, I just remembered. Oh, as, you probably, as, you're, as you're about to see. <laughs> or have just seen, so you know, I don't know. Uh, I didn't set this one up like though. So this is an LTN station on network 1. And it's an LTN station that... He's requesting all of that stuff. Provide threshold is a bajillion. Request threshold. That's a tricky one. Because they're all different. What's a stack of fluid? How big is a stack of fluid? Does it matter? Hmm. One? One stack? I think I've made it so that by the time these things go negative, there's going to be room for a full train's worth anyway, so I don't really care. So I think that's I think that's going to I think that's going to work. I think. Um where's my other LTN station that I actually set up so far already properly? So this is a provider station, so this should have a request No, this, this so that's okay. This is a mess. I need to fix it later. Okay, I haven't set up any other uh, LTN stations yet. So that's alright. So... I think that's complete. I just need to go and fix the trains up now so that this will start shipping in. I have to admit, this turned out to be a slightly smaller um, build than I was expecting. Oh, I need signals on this station. But I'm going to shorten this as well. Now I can fit. Now when I decide I need to make something else as well, I can put in a station for that just above it. Okay, I feel like that's quite a neat little um, sub factory. 
now. Let's see. Is that everything I need to start making the um, start making the better sciences? So, looking at looking at my sketch here, which you can't see, I'm afraid, because I haven't actually I haven't drawn it up properly on, on the computer for a, for a video yet. So it's just on paper. I could turn a webcam on, but I'm, I'm not going to. So it's got dark, and I can't bother to get up and turn the lights on. So we need um, holmium, which is coming in by rocket and therefore by train. Thermofluid by train. Memory cards by train. Plastic, copper, stone, chem gel, iron. Iridium, low density structures, glass, lube, uranium. Uranium, I need to set up. I need to set up your rocket on um, on Norvis. It's going to ship massive quantities of, of uranium up here. And um, green circuits. Yeah, so that's all of the stuff now I need for um, for making energy science too, I believe. Wow. <laughs> I think, however, that's not something I want to get started on at this time in the evening. Um, I'm going to put another two of these machines in, and then I think I'm going to go off to Kothar and fix up all the nonsense that's going on there. And then, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to switch over to Creative Mod, and I'm going to have a design. I'm going to work on a design for um, eep, falling off the space station. No, a design for um, oh, making iridite at a, at a at a at a much higher rate basically at a several blue belts rate um, now i think that is hopefully something that's reasonably worth sticking around for um because designing stuff is the sort of fun part of factorio it's then going out and solving bugs sometimes it can be a bit more a little bit frustrating <laughs> there we go so that's going to make that's going to double that's going to double the amount of mirrors i'm making okay so that's that's good Let's. I could, shall I save it? Um, yeah, I'll go back down to. I'll go. I'm going to head back down to Norvis now. Um, I think. Actually, no, no. Let's. If I save while I'm still up here, then off camera, if you uh, between streams, I can get some of the boring stuff down, like re re redesigning the um, the railway stations to 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 do what what they're supposed to do. So I'll save here. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. And then I shall quit the game. I shall add creative mod in. That one. Um, and now there should be a moment while we reload the game. <laughs> Bear with me, please. So what this is going to allow me to do, I'll, I'll then jump in a, um, a rocket pod, cargo pod thing, go back down onto Norvis, find a big empty space, and then I can start sketching out a design for um, for a faster iridium processing that's going to allow me to to actually start making it at a rate that means I can ship out a rocket full of it every so often uh, without just you know without it being futile and having to wait millions of years for it to all fill up um, I am going to I've got to the stage now where I am going to try and fully beacon and fully um, uh, what's the word fully beacon and fu fully productivity mod the whole system so it's going to be as fast as fast as I can reasonably make it and uh, hopefully will work reasonably well and I won't and I won't forget too many things and have to go back to um, back to base too many times <laughs> come on load faster uh, how about now there we go uh, yes cheats so now I nip over here even with creative mod turned, oh, actually, I suppose with creative mod turned on, I could just summon a um, a rocket pod out of nowhere like that. But I still need it to get back to Norvis. <laughs> okay, where's there a nice big empty space? I'm not sure how big I need to think. Over here, I'll probably do. Oh, that's interesting. My, um, I've extended my uh, the range of my artillery enough that it was firing at things. Oh no, maybe maybe the cheat has extended the artillery range. That's even more likely. Um, yeah, that that's. I said turn cheats on. Cheats. Personal cheats. All cheats. There we go. That's better. I must have. I probably used my uh, jetpack. Jet using the jetpack seems to turn cheats off. Oh, okay. That's even better if I don't need to use yet another mod. I'll um, I'll go for that then. 
Right, okay, so let's see. Iridite. Uh, I need a, obviously I need a duplicating chest. Uh, and a loader, or an unloader specifically. Oh, there we go. No. <laughs> what? How do I even... <laughs> do it right. There we go. Point the belt away from the chest. Then, okay, there we go. That's right. Okay, so, erudite. How do I erudite? I'm not very erudite talking about erudite, sorry. Do I have to apologise to that pun as well? Okay, so you you so you you crush it, then you wash it, and that releases stone. So we're going to have to do something with that stone. Uh, then you exchange bead it, uh, which also requires water. This is basically the same as the um, as the holmium so far, except it uses blue beads instead of red beads, which takes cryonite instead of vulcanite. So you then get the washed iridite. It produces sand, which obviously I'll have to turn to glass. Uh, wash. Iridite, what? Oh yeah, irid iridium powder. Oh, it needs vulcanite. It needs vulcanite and um, other one, uh, to other one, um, cryonite. This is very greedy. Okay then, um, to make ingots, and then you and then you ship the ingots out. So it's not too difficult, <coughs> but it does require a buttload of ingredients. So that's going to be fun. Uh, right. So I'm going to need. Lots of blue belts. I'm going to need some iridite. Which is... Must be in here somewhere, come on. Uh, the, the actual ore itself. That's crushed. That's... A How do you just summon a random thing if you can't find it? I mean, I can make some iridite cores and then crush them, I suppose. Um, that's a bit stupid. The whole point of creative mod is you're supposed to be able to just produce infinite supplies of whatever you need. Um, but if you can't find it in the list, it's a bit tricky to produce it. Okay, so I want you to do that, <laughs> apparently. Can I make some iridite? I'm sure I did. Oh, that's made me some iridite. Okay, even better. Uh, so, oh, so it's the triggering the recipe that you wanted to run rather than what you actually wanted to produce. Gotcha. Uh, so this should actually be a crushing iridite, which is uh, that one. Yes. And I'm going to. You know, what, actually, I could base this. I could make a copy of my um, the systems I built on. Henkesesui? Because I think it's the same process. I think we're taking in... Except we need to feed in Vulcanite at this stage, and we need to feed in Blue Beads at this stage. Other than that, I think it's the same, same recipe. So I'm going to take a copy of this... And have it saved right in the middle while I'm trying to do it. Uh, take a copy of that and then use that as my starting point. Um, I'm coming in from the opposite side, which is slightly confusing, so let's just switch that around. Okay, so over here we feed in. Where is it? Where's my loader? There's the loader. That. And in the duplicating chest, we put that. Then we do that. Uh, that. These are supposed to actually be doing that recipe. This is supposed to be doing that recipe. These ones are then doing. Is, there a, is it a powdered iridite recipe? It is. Iridium powder, rather. And then these ones are doing the. Um, that one. Okay. Um, 
Oh, and these are producing blue beads instead of instead of red beads. Okay, so that's probably everything. Uh, we need to drop in an infinite supply of power as well, which is uh, some matter solve to, to super substation, passive energy, active energy source that'll do. Drops in there. Okay, so those are running away. Those are running happily. This is going to be my stone output, which needs to go into a uh, void. Which is this one. Yes. This is going to be sand coming out, which again needs to go into a void. Oh, you guys, oh, you guys need water. Okay. Water source. There was a fluid, f fluid, infinite fluid source in here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, made in fluid source. Okay, fluid source. E -doo 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 -doo. Come on, where is it? It's power. What are they? Magic wands. Ooh, interesting. I shall have to, have to play with that sometime. But right now, I'm trying to find the water, the fluid source. Here it is. And you're supposed to supply water. Only problem is one of these kicks water out, I think. Maybe not. Okay, so you're waiting for the blue beads to come in. To make blue beads takes plastic, cryonite, and sulfuric acid. Jeez. Okay. Um... So actually, that's that's, a, that's okay. We're oh, and steam, right? Okay, this is sli it is slightly more complicated than the uh, the other one was. Uh, which is which? This one is steam, steam condensing steam, methane gas, steam. And this one is sulfuric acid. So it's it's slightly more complicated because we need an extra input here, I think. Um, actually, it was. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the same. Plastic and cryonite. Whereas before it was plastic and vulcanite for the red ones. I'm, I'm curious. I can't remember. Yeah, plastic and vulcanite. So actually, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same recipe, just um, with with the cryonite swapped for vulcanite. So we need some plastic in here, and the, the main reason I'm setting all of this up is to actually try and check if this, if they're all the speeds are the same. Um, plastic is. I don't. Just give me some. Can be crafted by hand. I've got cheat mode on. There we go. That's better. Um, and some cryonite. <laughs> I'll probably use the jetpack. I think using the jetpack turns cheats off for some reason. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? These are running. Why are you not running your gun inserter? Okay. Why are these just, are these not moduled? I mean, they're not moduled. Do they not need to be? Let's wait and see. Okay, so here we go. The um, yeah, this is all working as expected now. So far, so good. Oh, that needs to be um, blue beads. Otherwise, we get this nonsense happening. But maybe they'll be able to catch up and work their way around, work, 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 work that one out. I was slightly surprised how few of the uh, the the beads were required on the in the um, the other processing facility because I think when they go through the um, when they go through these machines, they've got all the uh, productivity modules in them. You actually get slightly more out because because it's got them on the output as well as the input. You actually end up with a bit more coming out than you expect, and so it's um, a bit more effective. Yeah, it's picking up most. Do you seem to have got some? Oh, of course, this one isn't. <laughs> Stupid. 
uh, iridium powder, there we go. <laughs> Let's just shove this straight in the uh, in the in these machines. There we go. And these ones can go. Uh, and this can go in there as well. Right. Okay. Are there any other filter stack filter 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 splitters? No. I think I think I think that's everything. So let's see. We've got this seems to be happily filling up this bell. So that's that is sufficient. This is running. This is not running flat out. We haven't got the, the bees have gone far enough down yet. Um, is that because there aren't enough, or because it just needs a bit more time to to churn through and get the supply up and running? Let's wait and see. These machines aren't running flat out yet, but is that? Oh, is that? Did this need vul this need to vulcanize as well? I just need a vulcanite, not as well, just this, this actually need a vulcanite. Uh, okay. Oops. Ah yes, this is this I remember now I remember grumbling about this how this recipe actually requires um, both of the both hot and cold, which is a bit um a bit greedy. Especially as vulcanite is one of the things that I have a bit of a bit of a supply problem with at the moment. Um, the, it's it's all be, it's being produced at a reasonable rate out here on Ganymede, but it's just it's it's a bit of a difficult thing. Actually it looks like it might be okay. Oh we've run out of oh yes we ran out of rocket parts, I remember. I need to ship a load more rocket parts out to Ganymede. Uh that's not particularly difficult, it just needs to be done. And a lot of rocket parts and um uh pods as well actually. I, I don't know how many of those I've got. Uh, still don't know how many I've got, even though I'm staring at the thing. I can't see any list on there. Maybe that means I haven't got any more spares. So I've still got about the right balance between them then. So I need to ship out a load more rocket pods, a load more rocket parts, and just get this, get that, get that facility up and ship the Vulcanite out again. But, oh well, that can be done um, whenever. How are we getting on? Are these bees still aren't going all the way down? Maybe I do need um, these. In fact, I probably want those anyway because these. Are, I, I suspect. Let's have a look. This is using 714 kilowatts. This is using 630 and running slower. So, yeah, this is clearly better. Even if this does use 200, another two. Actually, this uses 200 kilowatts. So, divided by four, that's 50. I think it's still better. It's still using less power, even with the um, even with the modules, even with the, even with the beacon using 200 kilowatts. <laughs> okay, that's more like it. We now seem to be um, creating a bit. Of, well, not quite creating a backlog. We'll see how that goes. But it's, it's definitely producing, producing it as I reckon that's producing it faster than it's being used. Yes, it's starting to back up now. That's good. Okay, so that's our sort of mass. That's as much as we can get through. This, this side of the belt is almost full. I don't think we can get any more of these in there. Uh, so this is probably about as fast as the stuff can be done. Why are you okay? Because we haven't got a void for this. Okay. So when I was making the other one for... Um, to go on the other planet, I decided this was the size of system I could realistically produce because this belt is practically full at the point where it hits the, um, the splitter. Now on the other side of it, it's not. It's less less than half going this way. Obviously, less than a full one here, but that is still more. I reckon that's still probably about two thirds full, maybe. So I could I can't shove another one into this, uh, into the other side of this um, this splitter. Uh, so this this is sort of one unit. This is as much as you can do off a single yeah blue belt running through here in the middle. This is the limiting the limit of, of how fast this can run. Um, the rest of it, well obviously there's there's more that the, the rest of it is absolutely fine. We've got a tiny usage of this belt coming in here. We've got very low usage of this one coming out here. On um, 
on Henke Sesway, the I, I, I ended up building an array of these that was um, four by four, I think. Yes, four by four by four at four in series, and it's still not pulling off, and it still doesn't use up a single a full blue belt going in, and four in parallel, and between them they were producing close enough to a um, to a full blue belt of the of the metal coming out here. So I basically now need to go out to um, to Kothar, build this again, but there are some, a, a couple of slight changes to it. Um, I'm going to need to be crushing all of the, all of the stone down and making glass out of it, which is I don't know. I was going to say it's a shame because I've got because I've, I've got so much glass available, but actually with the amount I'm turning into uh, low density structures, I don't have that much excess glass. Um, do I need this? Yes, I need I need this bit with the iron because I need the sulfuric acid to um, the iron and the sulfur and the oil processing because I need the sulfuric acid to make the um, for making these beads, uh, the blue beads, though, in this case. So I need the oil processing in order to make the sulphur for that, and also the oil to fuel up the, the rockets for leaving the planet. I'm going to need a landing pad for bringing in vulcanite. I'm going to need a landing pad for bringing in cryonite, because this uses both of them. And I'm going to need a railway station for bringing in um, this one, the, uh, the equivalent to this one, sorry, the iridite, to make the iridium. I'm going to need coal... What if I use coal? Oh, I'm using coal to make steam. That is literally all I'm using it for. Oh, and to make plastic. Okay, so I'm going to need coal for the plastic. Um, and I'm going to need... I'm not going to need copper. Copper is only here in order to make the circuits. And I'm not making... I'm not making... I'm not going to be making blue circuits up here. Is there, out of curiosity, let's see. Is there anything else you can use iridium for that I'll be wanting to do in a, a funny... Is this just a, I want to just build up in bulk before I ship out. So ballistic shielding data, no, that's going to be a space thing anyway, I'm, I strongly suspect. Um, yes. Strength data, yeah, that's a, another data, that's another data, that's another data, another data, another data. Uh, I'm looking the wrong way around. Okay, things made from iridium. Uh, I'm not going to make those in large enough quantities for it to matter. That's a data. That's a data. That's a data. That's a delivery. I could make delivery cannons out of it, but I've basically stopped using delivery cannons, so I won't. Um, data, data, data. Ah, heat shields. I could. I could make heat shields out of iridium. Uh, oh, I, in, in situ. I mean, once I've got a good supply of iridium, then I might as well start making heat shields out of it just just wherever, um, and maybe I'll build these up on Norvis and ship them from from the rocket base, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see it. See how much I need heat shielding for. I mean, it goes into a lot of things, like rocket sections and these. Oh no, that's the other mesh, mesh way of making mirrors that I'm not using anymore. So, and scaffold. Um, it's mostly in buildings and... Yeah, I don't see it used anywhere particularly in stuff that I'm going to be building a lot of, or a huge numbers of. Like the, Anything that goes into science, you want to have being made as efficiently and centrally as possible because you're going to get through a lot of it. If it's just being made into the buildings, it's not such a big deal. Heavy assemblies, heavy bearings... I All these things, I don't know. I, th I think probably, I think I'm probably not going to use this for um, making things in. I'm not, I'm not going to set up uh, anything equivalent to the. Uh, excuse me, must be nearly bedtime. Uh, the blue circuits, but it is nearly bedtime. <laughs> yeah, so there's nothing, there's nothing quite like the blue circuits where you need to make lots of them, and the iridium will make make a sort of a massive difference to the to the product production there. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, which means I am going to need to turn both stone and sand into glass. There's going to be a lot of glass coming off Kothar, but yeah, Celebi. Okay, I think that's reasonably manageable. Um, this is less big, horrible, and messy than I was than I was fearing. And because I've made this from the um, from the the blueprint of what I already had on Kothar, not Kothar, Henkeseswi. I think this is probably going to be um, a bit 
is probably going to have a few a few fewer problems with it so i've done things like putting in these pipes to take the other uh, liquids further down i've got this system in here for passing whatever the output here is. is is this the actual no this isn't the actual output this must be oh this is the spare sand so i've got this to pass in the pipe so the sand can bypass all the system and so can the stone all this is already built yeah i think this is probably going to be okay so i'm gonna pull out stuff that i can't make as part of an actual blueprint when i'm not cheating trim it all the way back to about here and that i think oh, let's take that out as well i can i can think about those when i get there that i believe is going to be my blueprint for um making these on kothar yeah, so orange science is yes, I'm going to be using massive quantities of it for that, but that all has to be taken into space. So I'm going to be shipping it up into space um, by rocket, so there'll be huge quantities of it available up there. The um, In the case of the Holmium that I was using on Henkes Eswe, that could be used on the planet itself to make blue circuits very, very efficiently, uh, rather than, and then, then ship blue circuits from there to wherever they were needed. So my theory was that that would be a better way to do that. Uh, whereas Iridium doesn't have anything in quite the same way where you, you're going to make things in massive quantities down on the planet. So, um, yeah, that's my theory, at least. My hope. So I want to dump this out as a string. Uh, copy. Where's my text file? <laughs> I have a text document, so I'm, I'm, I'm building up all of these um, strings in. Blueprints. Here we go. And this is um, Iridite Processing. Save. <laughs> it's 124k of just, just blueprints dumped into a text document. <laughs> That's quite a lot. <laughs> so one of the things I can do now, which I've... Um, oh, let's turn my cheats off. Uh, which is quite nice. Is one of the mods I installed lets you select a, um, a chest like this, a logistics chest. And I can then open up this thing and I can take a blueprint, drop it onto here, boop, and it appears in the logistics chest with all of the thing all of the things that you need to make that blueprint. And so you can you can then use your logistics network to summon all of those. And so that's enough for one of those things that I'm gonna make. Um, actually I need uh, oh bloody hell, I need <laughs> eight no, I need sixteen of that. So um yeah, this is going to be a, this is a slightly silly way of doing this, but so maybe I should maybe I should have made a bigger um, a bigger blueprint, but but never mind. So what I'm going to do is um, fill this up with all the things I need, load it into a rocket, and head off to Kothar to start building that. I'm also going to remember, and I'm going to not, not be a dumb, so I'm going to remember to check out my Kothar list before I go, and remember that I'm going to need to take out lots of meteor defences. Um, I'm going to need to, and I'm going to make sure I've got stuff to make to to sort of fix my Kovrex failures on that planet uh, when I get out there. And also I'm going to take all the stuff I need to make two more nuclear power plants. So another one of these I can copy in the um, this blueprint. Yes. Like that. And that's all the stuff I need to make a nuclear power plant. So I need a, need that twice over. I need the other one 16 times over. And yeah, that'll um, give me lots of <laughs> Hopefully that'll be everything I could possibly need. Uh, it's bound not to be, so I'm going to then try and stick in some extra stuff that I might need. I might, I'll probably want to put out an extra um, an extra iridite mine on that planet as well, because at the moment um, we've got actually we've got an iridite mine he here with 19 million in it. There's another patch here right next to it with another 8 million in, so I'll probably put in another station here that's pulling off this one. So I need to make sure I've got enough mining drills and enough belts for that, because these building these up is incredibly expensive in belts. It's ridiculous. Oh, and you need sulfuric acid for uh, mining iridite. I f nearly forgot about that. Uh, there's a massive patch down there. Maybe I'll go out to that one as well. I'm not going to be using copper. I am going to be using iron. I'm getting a feeling this is not an iron, an irony planet. Is it really that? Oh, there should be a bit. There should be a bit of iron out here. Like 800k there. Blimmin' miles away though. Oh, it's 5.7 million there. That's not bad. Oh, and there's a <laughs> one here that I'm already uh, using, which is 
four and a half million. Okay. So that's probably going to keep me going for a while. Oh, and there's another one there. Two and a half million. Ugh, not really looking properly, am I? So maybe I'll build my new area in here. Just sort of pushing out into this sort of area. Just out of curiosity, if I go to Kenkiseswi and copy all of this, because this is going to give me a rough idea of the sort of the sort of amount of space I need for it. And then look on Kothar. Map mode, map mode, map 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 mode. Yeah, so that'll fit in there quite nicely. Um, if I put it over here, perhaps. Then there's loads of room on the right hand side of it for all of the sort of the frippery that I've been forgetting. Things like all the rocket landing pads. I'm going to need an area for, for um, processing oils and stuff. Um, I'm going to need some re stations. Actually, I could put it here. Actually, there's, there's an iron patch there that I don't want to sit on because iron is useful. Yeah, all right, let's go back to the original th suggestion. If I put it in here, there's plenty of room around there. Um, and I can then, so I can put the, I can drop it, I can drop the main processing in there. And then in this sort of area here, I can have oil processing down here. I can have rocket landing pads here and here. I think I need two. Then rocket launching pads, of which I need, again, two. One for the iridite, one for the glass. Um, and there's going to be, the oil processing includes making sulfuric acid. Is there anything else I've forgotten? What else have we got on Henke Um Here we've got the... the the circuit stuff, which we don't need. Um, I'm not going to need any of this or this. Uh, I'm going to, yeah. So I'm going to, yeah. Oil, oil processing I've mentioned, which comes out including plastic and sulfuric acid, and rocket and light oil for rocket fuel. <coughs> and I'm going to need a, a glass smelting area as well. Yeah, that seems pretty doable. Especially, especially now that I've had the experience of building up this massive system on uh, on Henke, that's gone a bit. That's had a few a few minor issues, but I think I've solved them all. Now it's going it should be a lot easier to do just do it again on on another planet. Now, as I said, I, I don't think that's going to be the most exciting thing for for streaming, so I'll probably not do that on stream. Um, that said, it, dep it depends. It kind of depends on how busy I am over the next few days, because I'm not oh, I'm not going to be streaming on Sunday this time because I've got I'll off to see the off to see the family, so. Um, won't, won't be around then. I don't know if I'm busy on Saturday. Yeah, I've got. Um, I don't know when the next stream will be. It might not be till next Wednesday, so I might be doing. It might, might be. Um, it might might be then, and we'll see how much I've got done by then. But hopefully, once I've done that, once I've got Kothar sorted out and I've got a decent iridite supply going again, I can then head back up into Norvis orbit and carry on with the science because that's the oh yeah, i'm going to sort these trains out as well wasn't i lots lots to do lots to do <laughs> yeah because doing doing the science is the interesting part really as far as i'm concerned so the rest of it is sort of just building stuff up to get you to that part so then i can start maybe doing the energy science over here and then i can move on from that to the uh whatever the astron astro astronometric science down here or having massive a, re a massive research park over here that takes in all of the inputs and turns them into useful things and so on so there's i don't know what's going on here this is just a, a train that's just sat there at an empty station <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna I, I shall work my way gradually towards that and hopefully by um by next week i should be ready to actually put some of this down so uh yeah don't forget to subscribe so you can come along next week uh tell your friends tell your enemies um get ev ev everyone along to the to the stream and we'll see, see how it goes um is there anything else to say don't think there is um thank you for watching so and it, it's up to, it's basically it's up to me now to go away and sort out my trains sort out my erudite sort out norvis actually as well come to think of it because i've got i've got this area over here where that i need i need to build up the defenses for and pro put a proper loop ra a wall loop around it and i'll build I'll, I'll, I'll work on that whenever i get fed up with um waiting for rockets to fuel or something like that so yeah uh, which planet? Oh, Kothar. That's a good question. If I don't have, if I don't have oil, that is a very good point. Um, how am I, how am I doing it at the moment? I'm doing coal liquefaction at the moment. <coughs> so I guess I'm just going to have to. I'm going to have to carry on with coal liquefaction to get my oils. Uh, which is, oops, wrong button. 
uh, which is is a thing I can do, I guess. Um, yeah, because there is basically no oil on here. Um, it's down that that little amount. There's a reasonable amount of coal, so hopefully I won't get through it too quickly. There's a yeah, there's half uh, five million there. I might have a look for another coal patch while I'm here. That's a very good point. Thank you, thank you for pointing that one out. Um, God, there's, oh, there's there's one there, but that's a million miles away as well. I might play a little bit of hunt the coal because <laughs> I don't really, I don't want to have to ship coal or oil or anything like that in because that seems silly. Uh, is there such a thing as a coal planet? Yeah, there is. Greenleaf is a coal planet. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a moon, a moon of Norvis. So I, I mean, I. I could dig up massive quantities of coal off this planet and ship them all out to the uh, <laughs> ship them all out to uh, to Kothar, but that seems seems a bit silly. Um, I haven't really, I haven't quite got. I'm still at the point where rockets aren't like trains. So a train, you put in a train system, you take, you, you 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 just move stuff around the planet, however it need, wherever it needs to go. It's it's it, it's basically it's, it's it's almost free. It's really really cheap. Um, rocketry. If only because of the amount of fuel I have to pump into them, it doesn't feel quite so cheap. I don't feel like I wanted to start throwing rockets around everywhere just to keep everything ticking over. So, yeah, it's um, that's slightly more uh, slight, something I'm slightly more loath to do. I do want to work towards spaceships in the hope that that is then going to be a thing where I can just have massive spaceships full of all of everything I could possibly need flitting around the um, the solar system, just transporting all the stuff around and. Yeah, see how that goes. But for now, um, <laughs> for now, I'm I'm, I'm going to stick. I, I'm, I'm sticking with trying to use in situ resources where I can. Okay. So that, that where was? Oh yes, that was the that was pretty much the end of the stream. So as I was saying, thank you for watching. I'll um, I guess I'll see you next week. There'll be videos going up with to keep you sort of up to keep you with sort of your um keep your your factorio cravings um sated i hope <laughs> so there'll be plenty to plenty to watch um and of course the gta videos as well they're um they're good fun they're a bit more effort to make but i, I do i do enjoy making them because they uh, um it's it's sort of a, slight, a very different feel to these so yeah give those a watch if you fancy them so until next time thank you for watching i'll see you then <laughs>